peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. I got a feeling. Somebody said, how can you detox the vaccine? <laughs> I come right in. That's the first comment I see. Somebody talk about how can you detox from the vaccine? How can you detox from the vaccine? That's the first comment I seen when I came in the room, y'all. It just stood out. You know what I'm saying? I walked in class, and I you know how the, how the teachers walked in class back in high school, and they always caught y'all doing some shit that y'all wasn't supposed to be doing. That's how it just happened. Right now, I walked in class, like, caught the first comment, like, how do you detox from the vaccine? What? What channel do you think you own? What? what, what? What university are you within right now, Reflection? I don't even know who said it. I just seen the comment, man. Peace to the guys. The guys are plenty. How y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? It's a beautiful day. You know, high energy, high frequency. I've been doing a lot of good meditating, y'all. Um, I'm out in the mountains right now, so if, if it start getting choppy or the reception start tripping, I don't know. We can't blame YouTube because I know I'm in the mountains in the reception is because i'm so high up we so high up but you know that's not gonna stop me from coming to talk to y'all you know we know religion isn't isn't real but it's a lot of lessons you can learn in the bible it's, it's 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 um it's all allegory and metaphor metaphorical terminologies they use them in the bible right so um remember jesus went to the mountains you know what i'm saying the prophets went to the mountains you feel me that was just always symbolic of 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 tapping into the the source of nature that we created on this planet which starts and ends with our trees which we no longer have okay but shout out to y'all i miss y'all i love y'all man uh it's a lot going on i see it all i see the i see the i see the real shit i see the fake shit y'all know what i'm saying i see it all uh i want to address something real quick before i roll into class before we get into it y'all know and that's another thing too like for people that watch this channel, right, I, I see y'all comments. Even though I don't respond to them from time, I see certain comments. Like, y'all got to stop thinking that when I when you walk in the university, in this university that we going to roll right in class, it ain't going to never go like that. Like, so I don't even know why niggas be in the comments talking about lecture starts at 15 minutes or uh, lecture starts at an hour. This guy beats around. No, I let, listen. It's we in here building, nigga. You know, see, I'm one with the people. You feel me? With the God. So I come in, you know, they getting to know me. I'm getting to know them. Just us sitting here talking. And everything I say, it's always gems, man. It's crystals and everything I say. So, like, for you rushing, you rushing the information for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, how you going to rush the information out of, out, of, out of the source, nigga? Like if you if you that impatient, then why the fuck is you coming to the sword? Why is you coming here? You could go to other channels, nigga, or you can go within. Like I always tell y'all, you don't need to come to my YouTube channel or none of these YouTubers. You can go directly within. I have always told y'all that from day one. I don't know why so much jealousy against me from other so-called spiritual leaders. I'm not even gonna give them that, that energy. I learned from that mistake with the YP character. So I'm not gonna dive into none of that. But at the end of the day, like I told y'all, we in a full-fledged spiritual war. So in these days, it's going to be a lot of axes stone. It's going to be a lot of machete stone. But let him who has eyes see clearly, man. You feel me? I'm not respecting nobody throwing shots and they not showing their face. And I'm not respecting nobody throwing shots that I have that I kind of have respect for. You feel me? That's what gets to me when it, when it be the people that I have respect for throwing shots. And they be like, y'all down here on earth, so y'all becoming what's called jealous. Y'all becoming possessed by these fallen gods. I just seen a nigga that I have respect for, a YouTuber, which I'm not going to say his name, make a whole little rant about me. And it's crazy. I was subscribed to his channel. Like, I actually have respect for him. So certain things he was saying, like, he felt like everything I tell y'all, I just got from him and Remedy H and stuff like that. Like, I can't respect stuff like that. Like, I, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the etheric realms. I'm not, I'm not finna keep diluting my godliness to even go back and forth with mere mortals. Cause when you do that, that's that's jealousy. Like you letting the, you letting fallen gods in. You know, 
how you gonna sit here and make a whole video critiquing what I teach saying what I don't know? I've never made a video saying what none of these teachers don't know. I've never made a video saying what YP um, critiquing YP's lectures. I've never made a video critiquing Remedy H lectures or the way he teach. I never made a video critiquing Bobby Hemet lectures or the way he teach. Farrakhan, Dr. Umar, motherfucking Conjure Queen, motherfucking um, uh, 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 what was it? Queen Domain? It's a lot of it's a lot of us out here right now. Um, Ralph Smart. Um, just everybody, like, I, I've never made a lecture critiquing the way individuals teach. I've never done that. You know what I'm saying? I've never went and jumped in nobody live and, and forced what I teach on y'all or anybody. You got, that's what I want the real to see. And I've definitely never done it with, uh, with, with Kylie. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's, that's bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, I, I've never done it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I understand what true power is. You get what I'm saying? Like, I understand that the ancestors work through us all. It's all about who willing to listen, who willing to tap in, right? So the reason I never critique what other teachers teach is because who am I to attack what was told to you by whatever source you went to within? You get what I'm saying? And that's only on the deepest of levels where you understand that. You feel me? Like, I can never sit here or none of us can never sit here and say that we know all that there is to know within these 12 universes within this multiverse. We can't do that. And we and you are not even here to do that. You didn't descend on this plan, on this plane to 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 use your power to attack or question. You feel me? The only, piece, the only people you should be questioning if you got carbon in your skin is these white racist motherfuckers who took the planet from us, fam. Period. That's who you should be questioning. You feel me? That's who you attack. You feel me? But y'all want to throw arrows at, 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 at self. And self, I'm not even knocking you. It's just sad because I have respect for you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to make the same mistake I made with YP. Or Remedy H. Because y'all know me, man. I'll put an address on a nigga quick. But see, what I'm learning is that's a source of wasted energy. You know what I'm saying? And that's for me to... I, now I'm dropping in frequency. You see what I'm saying? Just to... You know, it's like I'm it's like I'm tapping into the fallen God myself called pride if I do that. I'm elevating too high, man. So for the YouTuber that made the video about me, I just simply lost respect for you. And I wish you the best. And once again... I'm still not going to critique what you teach or to any of you YouTubers that's coming together and, and, and y'all want to throw axes at me. You know what I'm saying? I wish y'all the best and I forgive you for you know not what you do. And I'm going to keep the battle with who it goes with. All right. So that's how that's how that's how that's how I cast out Zeus and his minions. You feel me? I'm going to always let the positive energy override it. I'm not even going to keep stooping down the niggas levels. You feel me? I go simply too hard for that. Okay, so I will not be used as a tool by the elites with y'all. I'm cool. All right, I'm up here in the mountains right now. I'm actually smoking good, and I came here to, to, to give some deep lectures about some topics that I want to teach the university. And instead of being sitting at the crib talking about the shit, I'd rather spend my own money and actually go to that location and and and, and when be out here with the real grizzlies. I'm out here with the real grizzly bears right now. You know, I'm 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 out here in these mountains in Colorado, so. I'm out here with the real Grizzlies, nigga. I'm out here with the real. Drop the nines if y'all see me. But yeah, okay, cool. We good. We good. All right. Yeah, so it's be, it's going to either be between these mountains or it's going to be between YouTube. You feel me? But anyway, go. We going to get through it. All right. So like I said, I'm out here with the Grizzlies right now. I'm out here with the real mountain lions. I'm out, I'm out here with the Elks. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in real nature, you feel me, to, to teach our people. You feel me? And everything I do is about teaching our people. So with that being said, we're going to stay focused. Now, I just want to send peace and positivity to all the gods and goddesses that's tuning in right now. Um, no matter what country you're located in, no matter um, no matter what age you are, because we know age and time not real. You know, um, no matter what where you at in your life, because we all, we, we all be at different places in our journey, you know. So... That's another thing, too. We, we all don't grasp it at the same time. But just because we don't grasp it today don't mean we ain't going to grasp it tomorrow. 
So to those who, who vibrate at the highest of themselves, where you can fully understand everything I'm saying, more more power to you. But I definitely want to send peace and nothing but prosperity and good and good vibrations to those who are just starting this journey where they where they are confused and they are trying to find themselves. And with so many different ideologies being tossed out there, you know, it's hard to to to, to decipher, you know, who's really honestly being honest. But that's why you got to be tapped in with you. That's why I always tell y'all, you know, at the end of the day, no matter who you listening to, um, be it me or whoever, you know, always listen to self first because, you know, you are God. You are the source. You are the everything. I am God. You are God. So you don't need my opinion to do anything or nobody's opinion to do anything. Remember, at the end of the day, you you are, you are, you are, you are the, be you are the beginning and the end. You feel me? You are the beginning and the end. You are the beginning and the end, okay? And with us not knowing that we the beginning and the end, this is what makes us step outside of self to seek out information or knowledge about the universe or about things we simply just have questions about from others. Anciently, we never taught like that. In our ancient universities of Timbuktu, universities like that, and even all throughout the cosmos and high, on higher dimensions of existence, we don't teach like that. We use the whole soul. You get what I'm saying? So meaning that we ask the soul to come up with its own question about the universe. And then you let your soul answer that for you. Because we always knew that if the, if the soul is... And you can even go research the hermetic teachings, right? All right? If the soul is strong enough to come up with a question, it is strong enough to answer it. So whatever question or whatever... What, what, that's why you have to sit back and ponder about the multiverse, ponder about things around you. Most of us don't even ask questions. If you simply just sit back and just start looking at the shapes of the doorways in your house, the picture frames, the shapes of things, and you just start asking questions like, why is this shape, why is this shape like this? Why is this design like this? If you start pondering on the things that's going on around you, it will come to you. That's why they say, seek and ye shall find. That's with anybody. So you have always been the source in the, in the beginning. You was always the, the beginning and you was always the ending. This is what makes us one. All right? This is what makes us one. One. You feel me? This is why I always say to you all, peace reflection. Or anybody that understands the word of reflection, that's why they say it, if they truly understand it, because it's not something that's um, just now being said with me. You have a whole generation of new youthful gods and goddesses coming up that's just now hearing it through me. But I'm not, it, it didn't start with me. All right? So what I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to y'all on, on a deeper, we're going to talk real deep today on the, on the deepest of metaphysical levels. Like, that's how we talking today because... I think sometimes, you know, when we kick it and we laugh and we joke, I think individuals forget, you know, uh, you know, what we do really be discussing in here and, you know, how much insight, you know, we, 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 we stumble upon while we be in here building. All right. So, you know, um, I want to start by sending peace to the elders. You know, not everybody in class, we 1400 strong. Shout out to all of y'all. I want to send peace to the elders, those 65 and older watching, uh, and, and, and the deepest insight to them. I want to send the deepest insight to my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, watching and tuning in every class and, and doing your own research, all right? Don't don't let me be, don't let the information that I present to you in these lectures, in these live lectures or these videos be your start or your end point. Go deeper, you know, take 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 it and go deeper. You know what I'm saying? Like that. that's what building is about. You know, um, we want a higher frequency as a, as a planet, you know, so a lot of information um, that we had in these universities, you know, these our enemy, the elites destroyed. But they held a lot of it. You know, they still they kept a lot of it. But what they could not destroy was the genetic coding of the information which we already had built within us, with us being electrical beings, nine ether beings. So this is why um, we can motivate each other sometimes. You know, you ever been around somebody and they talking about a subject and then they, and then you just, you rub off it yourself and then now you, you come with something deeper 
But now they come with something deeper. This is on a basic business level. You could be sitting there discussing business ideas with your business partner. That's why they say two minds is greater than one. Three minds is greater than two. Four minds is greater than three. Five minds is greater than four. Six minds is greater than five. And, and imagine how, what we would be if we had all the, our minds working together. Okay, then. So let him who has eyes see clearly once again what I'm trying to say to you right now. All right. So um, to the youth, you know, the, the 21 and under, y'all are new souls just touching the planet. So I definitely want to send the peace and the deepest of insight to you. We got the laptop pulled up today. That's what y'all, that's what I'm looking at. If y'all wondering, if y'all wondering. Yeah, we, you know, we yeah, we we going to the drawing board. Like sometimes, you know, sometimes I think because I sit here and I don't have the laptop. A lot of people, people I knew, but people that follow me from day one, to tell you I hit that laptop, hit you quick, smack you all up through Google real good. You know what I'm saying? You'll go research it and still find it yourself. Like, but I understand that Google, DuckDuckGo, these are all man-made um 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 search engine optimization, right? So so what that means is. It can be altered. It can be controlled. So I, I chose, I, as I as I continue to grow my platform, I'm like, you know what? Let me really let these the guys and goddesses know that what I'm telling y'all comes from the, coming from the ancestors. It's coming from in here. You know, I don't need no laptop. I don't need no book. I don't need to be, I don't need no no thimble or none of that shit in front of me because I ain't, you know, I don't got to, I don't got to study what I already came to tell y'all. You feel me? I don't, I, if you got to study it, you, you pretend it. You feel me? If you got to study it, you pretend it. You feel me? But today we're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and take it back to the drawing board a little bit. You feel me? So now that we all in class, all right, we're going to talk about what's going on in Haiti. So uh, whether you know it or not, Haiti is a very, a very powerful location, right? Haiti is a very powerful location on the map dating back anciently everybody see the earthquake that just hit haiti right and they're saying what they're saying right here boom they saying that they saying right here haiti earthquake death toll rises to 2200 more than 300 people still missing okay cool and i seen somebody said that they didn't know where haiti was so let's show y'all where haiti is on the map right there this is haiti all right Haiti is a part of the Dominican Republic, all right? All of this, well, <clears throat> the Dominican Republic is to the right. Haiti is to the left. I said that wrong. But the Dominican Republic and Haiti used to be a part of, this was all called Hispaniola, okay? And as y'all can see, this is Cuba right here, and there go your so-called United States. Now, keep in mind the map doesn't look like this, but for lecture purposes today, we're going to definitely have to use this map so I can make it make sense. All right. So anyway, yeah, this is Haiti right next to the Dominican Republic, right across the ocean from Cuba, not too far from Jamaica. Look, this is all the Caribbean island, right? They call all this the Caribbean. You see, they call this the Caribbean Sea. Notice it connects down to South America, too. You got Brazil. Oh, you know, more of us. This is all us, though. All black people, gods and goddesses. OK, <clears throat> so for those of you who didn't know where Haiti was located, now, you know. All right, in Haiti, all this entire place used to, they go Puerto Rico too. You see it? They go Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, across the, right across the ocean from Dominican Republic, which is on the same island as Haiti. All of this used to be called Hispaniola. All right, let's flip it up off there real quick. So, you know, I just show you that. So, like, cause I could sit here and say this all day, but then, you know, new people might think I'm just talking. So, anything I'm telling you, you, you literally can go look it up for yourself though. You know what I'm saying? or go within but for that individual who commented and said i did not know where haiti was located now you know okay now you know all right and that and it's important that you know that it's important that you know the location of where they saying haiti is located it's in, that's that's imperative that it, that's you, having a, a, a true a true visual like in your mind where you're located or allegedly located on this map it's it's important like the saying go, how can you know where you're going if you don't know where you're coming from? Or or, or or even worse, if you don't know where you're at. So this is why I've always taught y'all in the university that the entire map is a fucking lie. It don't look nothing like that. But for lecture purposes, we'll get into that too. But for lecture purposes, we're going to focus on how they saying it look right now. So as you've seen on, on what I showed y'all, they say 2,200 people have been killed in Haiti with over 300 missing. And... That was not some random earthquake. That was an attack. All right. And 
you have to understand that our enemy has replicated us on every single level. So he's replicated the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we think. The computer comes from the way your brain works. The computer, the computer, yes, one of these. Hold on. This whole computer comes from the way your brain works. I have an old video I put out a long time ago on this, on this channel about the internet, intergalactic highways, the entire idea of the internet, being able to get on there and search something and go here, here, here. That comes from the way we travel within and communicate within intergalactic highways. All right, everything around you is a knockoff of what we already was doing on a bigger level. Okay, so to understand this, you must understand the four phases of, you must understand the laws of this realm. Now we're talking metaphysics. You must understand the laws of this realm. Okay? Four phases of matter. Everything around you. Matter. 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 Everything you see is matter. Matter. But this is the slowest vibration, though, of matter. This is solid. Lowest vibration is solid, then liquid, then gas, then plasma energy. Okay? So, if you notice, right, Haiti, right, is located not that far from the Bermuda Triangle. <clears throat> this is all what they call the Caribbean, all right? The Bermuda Triangle is right here. This is Haiti down here, but it's located in that same body of water. Now, I've been telling you about our ancient ancestor, one of the ancient ancestors, one of the ancient titans named Ocean, all right? Who they have locked down here with a pyramid, right? Haiti, this land of where Haiti is at, specifically Haiti, Notice how it lines up. Now you got the line between which separates Haiti from the Dominican Republic. But I want you to peep some how they show you on the map. This is an energetic point on the, on the actual plane that runs straight through. And Haiti, Cuba, Florida, all the little islands within here connected, even Jamaica, all like this whole little area right here, right? Follow the arrow, y'all. This whole little area right here. I'm trying to show y'all, right? Anciently, this area is important. I mean, and even if you're going deeper than that, all the way up to Georgia. Because remember, Atlanta is on the 33rd parallel. Okay? Notice Atlanta sits right across from Bermuda as well. Okay? This is all part of Bermuda, right? But this whole entire area, because Atlanta was the capital of Atlantis. So the whole state of Georgia... Where they're not calling Georgia was the capital of Atlantis, y'all. Okay? Now, notice this whole area is connected, though. Now, they won't show you this on the map, but it is, though. Energetically, it is. Okay? So, now, I'm pointing that out for a reason. I'm pointing that out for a reason. I'm pointing this out for a reason. Where present-day Haiti is, Connecting up to what's the cap, what was the capital where the, where, where the state of Georgia and the United States of America is, right? Because that was the capital. The whole state of Georgia was the capital of Atlantis. Okay, you have to understand this to understand what's going on with these earthquakes right now. So we have to talk ancient history. We have to talk pre-colonialization period. Before they landed, y'all. Taking y'all back now. Before they got here now. Okay, so... Where Haiti is at, all of this land served as part of a gateway that was used to let certain portals of energy flow in and out of this plane, okay? And we have many of these hubs. This is where the whole idea of airports comes from. You know how at airports, they got hubs. You go here, you go southwest, you go here, you go here. This one flies out, that one fly out, that one go there, that one, that one go there. Well... Haiti acted as a runway portal to go to certain other dimensions and realities. It was part of one of those. 
So when they attacked, that's why when they attacked us, all right, when they attacked us in 1492 and they destroyed everything around the capital of Georgia, okay, and they started to cut our trees down around the planet and knock down our crystal towers, okay, and control the energy of the planet, you have to understand something here. We wasn't in physical form. We didn't go into physical form. We fell into a physical form. We were always vibrating at the highest extent. So we was, we was, we was, we was damn near invisible. All right. We was more like a body of energy. Okay. Than anything. We didn't, we could take on forms. We could take on shapes if we wanted to, because we vibrated that high. Right. But we did not have physical forms. The planet herself was not in a physical form at all. When we fell in frequency, we fell from the plasma energy form. We was at the, for we was at the plasma energy phase, all right? So on that plasma energy form, you're dealing with all electricity, all, like I said, you're dealing with uh, electricity that's more powerful beyond anything that you could comprehend because you've never seen it here. We fell into into these physical forms as we begin to fall and descend in frequency. So the planet went from the plasma energy phase and then she fell into a gas phase, a smoke misty phase. This is one of the old ancient stories. You go look at the, you can go look up, like I say, go, go, look, go look up into the hermetic laws and the hermetic teachings or go look, look all around the world. Go look, go, 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 go down and study down in Brazil and South America or go study any of these ancient Indian tribes, if you want to call us that, or the Mayans and the Aztecs. And they always told these stories of these floating cities with these floating mountains and these floating forests and shit like that. That's how we were. We were at we were at that phase after falling from the plasma phase while still warring with them. And then in the plasma phase down into the gas phase. All right. Then from the gas phase, we fell into the liquid phase. And from the liquid phase, we fell into the, the solid phase that you see here today, which is the slowest vibration the entire atmosphere did. So this is what they talk about really in the Bible when they talk about the flood or all around the world. Every ancient, every ancient civilization from the Dogon in Africa down to the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Cherokees. You can go to anybody, any go, go read any ancient civilization as far back as they will take you. Because the information I'm presenting to you right now is all metaphysical. All it goes back. This is further than the shit they talk about in the Sumerian texts and tablets, nigga. I'm not talking about no Sumerian. I'm, 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 the information I present goes way back further than that. The ancestors sent me here to make you remember who you are. You can't remember starting a motherfucking Sumerian text and a motherfucking Kemet, nigga. Kemet is us after the fall, nigga. We fell into this solid phase that you see today. And when we fell into this solid phase that you see today, Haiti was still attacked because they had to attack it on every level. Okay? So when they attacked it, it is it fell into the physical phase because they did the same thing in Georgia. Notice, hold on. Notice where the main hub of energy was because where you see the United States today, Georgia was the capital. So all this land still was, a, was, was, was important to the realm of Atlantis. This is why when they landed on our planet, Although the queen, queen of it, queen, the queen of um, um, Queen Elizabeth and the British royals, they run everything. Right. Because they are the, they are the reptilians. Right. They are reptilians who run with the who, who control the elite. They still made the United States their hub. The United States is looked at as the most powerful country because of this. Although the queen and them running everything. But the country that the queen and the men ain't looked at as no world power. They look at the USA as the world power. That's because they landed here. This is what was made the, the, the hub because of the energy of the whole land. The energy of the whole land. So if you can understand that, you can understand that this is also why what major war also started in, 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 in Georgia. The Civil War. Civil War was mostly fought in Georgia. All right. General Robert E. Lee and not Georgia. Where did the civil rights movement start? The energy has always been on this 33rd parallel, which stretches clean across the whole continent to L.A. All right, through Dallas, it runs through all these cities. We're talking energy here. You have to understand the energy of the, plan the planet. 
in the parallels to understand why they sent this earthquake at Haiti and who sent it. Now, notice why, where did, where was JFK assassinated at in Dallas, Texas on the 33rd parallel? All right. When he tried to speak out why he was a sacrifice, an energy point. Where was Emmett Till hung at? Memphis, I mean, uh, Mississippi. Where was every hung, every lynching that took place in America and on this land was an energetic sacrifice done along the 33rd parallel. Now, notice Atlanta, Georgia is the capital of Atlantis. Civil rights movement started there. The goddamn civil rights war started there, damn near. And the civil rights movement started there, nigga, in, in Georgia. It's a lot going on in Georgia. Then you go down to Haiti, right? This ain't the first time Haiti didn't got hit with an earthquake. You know how many times Haiti didn't got hit with an earthquake? Better yet, when earthquakes come, do you know how many times this whole chain where this gateway was at, y'all, has been hit with earthquakes and tornado? And, 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 what? This is where all the earthquakes get hit at. All up in this area by design. All right? And then they give you that bullshit Atlantic trade slave story and, and then try to hit you with the all the earthquakes is coming from it's fucking slaves, it's they spirits. No, no, no. That's that's has always been war sent at us that we just ain't know about. All right, they have a lot of wars that they send at us, a lot of weapons they use for our community that we didn't know about. It's beans, hurricanes is one of them, tornadoes is one of them, STDs is one of them. All right, it's a lot of them. All right, but at the same time, you got to understand when hurricanes come. Where they always hitting that? Hurricanes. The hurricanes, they be hitting all through here. All through here. Every time. Right? Right? And then when you go up to Georgia, Georgia don't get the hurricanes, but most of the, the revolutionary energy of the country has always took place in Georgia. The whole war between the Civil War, between the North and the South. Georgia, nigga. Georgia. What was they... What was headquarters for the Confederates? Georgia. Okay? We talking metaphysics, y'all. What they ain't gonna put on your map on Google. Now check this out. All of your fucking hurricanes tear up all these islands by design. These are always attacks. Haiti got hit with the earthquake, but this ain't their first earthquake. Now let's go back to the Haitian Revolution. Let's get deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. We finna go deeper though. So y'all gonna see why they sent the earthquake. And why they always attacking not just Haiti, but all those islands up in that chain get hit. And also keep in mind that that's the Caribbean is the last place left with some of our most purest water. That's how powerful that, that Caribbean is. No matter how much pollution they did to our planet, the Caribbean still ain't lost her zest. Now, she was a lot more beautiful. She was. But overall, she still ain't lost her zest. That's just going to show you how powerful that water is in that location and how magical the Caribbean is. See, it gets deeper than that. They know it's magical. Your soul get pulled to it. And they charge you for that. They, they, they make us pay thousands to go. All your top tourist destination and most beautiful views is damned in the Caribbean. And you never thought about that. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't know what you are. You don't know the true history of your, of your planet. Okay? Okay? You don't know the true history of, of your planet. And they'll never tell you. So, they, so when I come to tell you, they, they attack me for telling you. Oh, they send others like that look like us with carbon to attack me for telling you. You get what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna focus on them. We're gonna stay focused on this. Because this is what they don't like. You see what I'm saying? I will know I will give you low you, you, you low vibrational beings, no more of my attention. Anytime y'all say something stupid, I'm just gonna respond harder and go deeper on the left. It's not even finna play like that. I'm gonna vibrate higher every time. Let's talk about Frank Quais McCandle. We'll start with him. All right, who was he? Now we're talking about the Haitian Revolution. All right? Because, see, you got to understand something here with this Haitian rep, with, 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 with why it's a beef with Haiti. They got beef with Haiti. You know, and shout out to Haiti. You know, anybody that watched me know my connection to Haiti. 
It's a Haitian bloodline. Y'all already know what it is. But at the end of the day, it's a beef there. It's a deeper beef there with the with, with Haiti, though. You get what I'm saying? Haiti was what was the only group of us left. They had so many of our people that were tapped deep into the deepest of voodoo and our magical abilities. You get what I'm saying? That they were tapped into it. All right? Tapped into it on a different level. Okay? To the point where when these when these Spanish conquistadors who had already conquered everything, they was they was coming back around our land. They they, they did sweeps on our planet, y'all. When they knocked us out of frequency, they did a sweep. And they did they did about six sweeps. Every time they was getting knocking us more, knocking us down harder and harder. All right, taking more and more. So you get to the Haitian Revolution, okay? And they was on that shit in Haiti that they was on all throughout the Caribbean. They did it on every island. Puerto Rico, this is what I'm trying to tell my Latino people. Hey, ain't no Latino. Peace, brother. How you feeling? I know, I know you didn't know that, brother, to my Latino community. Peace, brothers and sisters. How y'all feeling? I know you get what I'm saying? Because when you talk in Puerto Rico and you talking all this Brazil, you tell you still you talking us. You talking us. And to all the people that's thinking they black people that's in the, that's over here in America. Once again, that's what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you, I'm not saying these Latinos are us just to say it. This is this is genetic facts. I'm talking genetics. I'm talking molecular biology. I'm talking genetics. You cannot defeat genetics. We're talking genetics. We're talking genetics. So at the end of the day, notice the color of Puerto Rico flag. Somebody just dropped it. Ain't that the same fucking color of the American flag? So that means who took over Puerto Rico? The same motherfucker that took over the USA. It's the same people. So you're not Puerto Rican. You a God. You're not African American. You a God. Hey, all the black and Latino people in America, look at the Puerto Rican flag. Now look at the America flag. Pay attention. Look at Great Britain flag. Look at America flag. Pay attention. I don't give a fuck if you look at all the African flags. You all you want to. Jamaican flag. Look at it. These are all Spanish names. They conquered our people, man. They conquered our people. Do you really, do y'all really believe, hold on. Do y'all really believe, do y'all really believe that this was the name of shit? Do y'all believe that we named this continent Brazil, Paraguay, Bolivia, Peru? These are all Spanish names. Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela. These are, this is us. We black though, but they ain't, they conquered us. These are all Spanish names. You can go over here too. Ain't no such thing as African names. You go deeper. You crazy? These ain't. These are all another form of Spanish names. South Africa. Africa is named after who? Africanist. That's a Spanish name. All of them. Zimbabwe, Angola, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda. All these names in our names. <laughs> these they names. Mexico. Honduras. Georgia. You know? United States of America, Canada, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Saint look, look, look. Santa Domingo, Saint Vincent and the Granadas. You know these they names. Saint Kitts and Nevis, Guadalupe. These are their names, people. So who are you? These they names. All over the map. These they names. They conquered this is all this us though, but I just want y'all to know this they names though. These they names. They conquered us. China, Mongolia, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. They got you thinking these Muslim names. They got us thinking these different people. These all they names, man. They took over our shit and put their names on everything. Period. They put their names on everything. Okay? Okay. So understand the map and now you can notice the connection why is the caribbean always getting to land is i could smoke this weed all day this we be having all type of shit and you know that when we get the weed over here they got gmos in it they didn't spray it in it now because i'm a guy i'm going to naturally extract what i need out the plant and the rest gonna get weeded off any of us, anybody black or Latino smoke this plant. It don't matter what they try to do to it because this shit come from us. We created it. You feel me? But guess what? You go to Jamaica, that weed is organic. It's a different type of 
Some of the most eat the fruit over there in Jamaica. Eat the food over there. It's a totally different energy you get back. They ain't just attack, attack Haiti. Let's get deeper. Do y'all know that the Amazon rainforest, which is located in South America, most of that shit is on fire and gone because they been trying to kill the Amazonian rainforest, nigga? They don't, they don't even talk about that. They won't each, That's not even a story right now. Okay, so let's get back on Frank on Frank Hoyt's McCandle real quick. So the Haitian Revolution, right? The Spanish come back around. They come back to Haiti, and they they mistreating the people. They killing them for no reason. I mean, what they've been doing to everybody all over the planet. But you know something about the spirits and the souls of those Haitians and that on that land because they connected to that ancient energy. I just showed you what it used to really be. OK, so they they they're tapped in on a higher frequency. Right. Then they did, did like back then. And they knew this. So. You have what started the Haitian Revolution. But. In the Haitian Revolution. That they were using voodoo. They defeated the Spanish conquistadors. They the only group in this physical. The last time we defeated the elite, we wasn't in the physical. We was vibrating on the plasma energy level. The last group of us to do, because we, as our souls and spirits be, became stuck in the physical, all right, then we ushered in that new way to bring more souls in, which is where birth came from. Get what I'm saying? Because we was always fighting magic with magic. Remember, this war is fallen gods versus the real gods. So that was always the fight. Yeah, they got their spells and they got, but we 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 vibe, we was always a little more powerful with it. So we was always counterattacking. It was all, it ain't never been they just spanked our ass. It ain't never been like that. None through since the war started. It ain't never like Jeff Ford said, man. Like he told the police in the interview, nigga. It ain't never been no killing without killing. And I say that respectfully, you know, we just want y'all to know that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how he said it. But that, that saying that he said in the sixties go back way deeper than what he said. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So it's always been that back and forth. So once we fall in this physical frame, you know, and a lot of our, you know, it get deep. This is what the watches are about. All right, like in the book of Enoch, when they talk about the watchers and they talk about, I got a lecture coming up on that. When they talk about how certain gods went and taught them certain things, how to do spells and enchantments, and they taught certain ones how to use the metal, and certain gods taught the humans how to the map of the earth and the locations and Certain guys taught them how to connect with certain spirits and what vibrations to use to control. Yes, did we really taught them this. It really went like that. Okay. So, us here comes the Haitian Revolution where the Haitians are being mistreated and they don't see the Haitians rising at all. But when the Haitians went to rise, the reason why the Haitian Revolution is not talked about like it should be is because of the way they won. They'll talk about the Vietnam War all day. They'll tell you, hey, in the Vietnamese War, the Vietnamese, Vietnam kicked our ass. And they won't even talk that hard. They won't even say it that real. But they will say, hey, in the Vietnam War, Vietnam, the Viet, in the Vietnamese War, the Viet, I mean, in the Vietnam War, the Vietnamese kicked our ass. They'll tell you that a little bit. But what you'll never hear them teach you about the Haitian Revolution. Now, nah, it ain't just because the Haitians won. You right, Stu Nutter Game. Shout out to Stu Nutter Game. Yeah, but it ain't just because the, remember, Let's take Haiti. Let's take Haiti and Haitian off the word. That's that's us, y'all. These are just how they divided us, y'all. Remember, right now we could be fucking our cousins. We wouldn't even know it. We would not even know it, y'all. You know, they fucked our bloodlines up. They was crossbreeding us, sending us here, sending us there, and then putting different titles on us. That's why we can't go into no titles. The genetics say say that we all gods. And we nine ether beings. And, th and their genetics say that they're six ether beings. 
We have green veins because we full of gamma radiation. They have blue veins because they are single cell organisms. Clone organisms. And I say that with all due respect. But you know, I ain't sugarcoating it for nobody. All right? So, it's the way that we won the fucking war. We used all voodoo. All magic. The Spanish was pulling up on, on Haiti, pulling up on the island. And before they can get off the island, off the boat, motherfuckers' teeth was falling out their mouth. Some of them started melting. Some of them hair started falling out. Some of them got so sick that they was literally throwing up their intestines. They didn't even have the strength to pick up their guns. Then it got so bad that they couldn't even come onto the island. Boats was exploding. They was falling into the water, getting attacked by sharks. All type of shit was going on. They was turning them on themselves. We had, we had our people over there tapped in. They putting spells on them from afar to the point where motherfucking they on the ship killing each other. You better know the power we come from, man. We ain't got to touch you. Do you know you have no clue what you are, man? You can literally wheel everything around you. And they don't want you to know that so they don't talk about the, the Haitian Revolution. They don't talk about uh, Queen Nanny and the Jamaican Revolution with the, with the Maroons. Man, all through history, this shit is documented of us doing what they want to call the supernatural. Exactly. Voodoo, this shit was our real religion. If you, if we never had a religion, but if you want us, we had a, a, a culture. Voodoo, hoodoo. Manipulating, playing with, with, the, with supreme mathematics and the supreme alphabet. Manipulating the energies. Using telepathy. Building chi, building force fields. Like, so even, even though we fell from that plasma energy state, which is our high, one of our highest states, we fell into a physical, we still have all the codes and all the files locked inside of our genetics. Why do you think they attacked us since they took over, nigga? Think about it. They been took all the land, so why do they still attack us to this day and they got everything from us already? What more could they want? Because they want the codes. They want the keys, and they can't get the keys. The keys is locked inside of our genetics forever, only to be opened by us when we are ready for it, or those, those chosen few are ready for it. They know that. They made cartoons all about the shit. And we don't do enough research. The Haitians won this war. Let's talk about Francois McCandle. And shout out to uh, one of the gods who's from Haiti. And he even let me know that in Haiti and they schools, they don't even, they lied to them about the fucking Haitian revolution over there in Haiti. They don't even be telling them that the Haitian revolution was won with using pure magic. They don't tell them that. Let's go, though. Let's read about it. Francois McCandle died 1758, was a Haitian Maroon leader in Haiti. He is sometimes described as a Haitian voodoo priest or hogan, which is another word for magician or a person that's practicing forms of magic. All right. For joining the, for joining the Maroons to kill slave owners in Saint Domingue. He was captured and burned alive by French colonial authorities. Now, I don't even like pronouncing all that shit the right way. Haitian historian Thomas Medeo states that Macaudel had instruction and possessed the Arabic language very well. Early sources identify him as coming from Mount Atlas, which spans the Maghreb. But contemporary scholars such as Sylvian Diffio have speculated that he may have been from the modern day nations of Senegal, Mali or Guinea. During his interrogation, he allegedly repeated the Shahada, which is the testimony of Muslim faith 
in Arabic several times and even translated its meaning to his French captors during his interrogation before being condemned to death. All right, so look. So right there, they're trying to make it seem like all the power that he possessed came from him mastering the Arabic language. Let me correct y'all right now because Wikipedia is fucking lying. All right. So let me correct y'all right now. All right. Now, it don't matter whether you're talking English, Spanish, French, Russian. It don't matter how you enunciate, pronunciate the words. It don't matter because all the words are backwards vibrations, which do not really affect nothing around you. You need the certain vibrations to use in a certain way. You have to paraphrase certain words a certain way. And if you don't understand that, then your words have no merit and they will have you won't manifest shit around you or be able to do anything around you. OK, so. What I want y'all to know is how they quick, they, 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 they quick to try to, I had to stop him because he did so much, right? They want to make it seem like he was doing this because he was so tapped in with the Arabic language. Let's stop the lie. Let's keep, let's keep the lesson going though. All right. And it had nothing to do with no Arabic language. All right. Result of his use of poison. All right. It froze up. Drop the nines. Y'all hear me? That ain't that ain't on my end, y'all. That ain't me, y'all. That was them. That ain't me this time. If it was me, I'ma let good now. I had, you know, I got, I'm good on my end. I got all my. That's them. Y'all know when we get to going on this level, they gonna play around like that. We ain't we going though. We going in. All right. Anyway, so his significance. This we we talk about Francois Mackendale. He was a Haitian Maroon leader and a Haitian Voodoo priest who led that one of the one of the few one of the many who led the Haitians to this victory. Okay. So look, check him out. His significance. As a leader in the fight, what I want y'all to see is this. His significance as a leader in the fight for Haitian independence has been immortalized through Haitian currency. Okay? The association of Mackendale with black magic seems to be a result of his use of poisons derived from natural plants. Okay? The slave Mackendale was knowledgeable of poisons. Organized, he organized the widespread plot. Pay attention, y'all. He organized how the Haitian Revolution started. He organized the widespread plot to poison the masters, their water supplies, and animals, which was smart as fuck, actually. The movement spread great terror among the slave owners, and it killed hundreds of slave masters before the secret of Mackendale was, was came out. Hold on. Before the secret, before the secret of Mackendale came out from a tortured slave. Okay? So hold on. So they let you and you know, this is Wikipedia. You know, they they light sauced it though. They light sauced it. They ain't gonna go too deep. They light sauced it. They light sauced it. So I'm I gotta go heavy, heavy on it. But I wanted y'all to see they still kind of just breeze. They sprinkle over it a little bit. They sprinkle over it. Cause look, 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 real talk. Let me show you something. Flip it around. Look, it ain't that deep. They they, they stop it right there, y'all. And then look, they give you a little bullshit biography. And then they give you, they talk about when they mention him in popular culture. All right? And that's it. That's it, y'all. That's all they give you on them, y'all. You hear me? You see? That's all they gonna give you on them, y'all. <laughs> you see how they do it? But nigga, you put in my fucking... Martin Luther King Jr., nigga. Boy, that shit, 39 pages on Wikipedia all about him. You see what I'm saying? They don't want you, they don't let you go in like that. And they, and they look how they, they just stopped it like, yeah, he poisoned the colonists. That's it. Man, what? He was getting busy. He was doing way more than just poisoning the motherfucking slave owners, nigga. They was picking up trees. Nigga, throwing trees at motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They was flipping whole ships before they even came to the island. I told you they was having, they had, listen, they, they was using spells to make the captain of the ship appear to be somebody who did something wrong to the, to the soldiers. So while the soldiers on the ship waiting to get to Haiti, they getting all inside their mind with spells. He wasn't one of them. He wasn't the main ones. Tapping all into his mind on some, like, like, like Xavier doing X-Men. Yeah, getting the day in that motherfucker like, yeah, for real. Next thing you know, they done snapped out and killed the captain. Well, they had them killing each other. They put some, listen, they put some shit on them people. You hear me? They had them people killing each other, y'all. They turned them, listen, man, they was, listen, motherfuckers was disintegrating, combusting, 
spontaneous combustion, imploding, melting. Do you know what I'm saying? Imploding. I mean, like, no, no. Chemical implosion, nigga. That means they was manipulating the items within them to the lowest extent, bending them bitches. Motherfuckers disintegrating into the ground. Like, yeah, for real. Man, listen. Listen, man. Listen, man. You see what you see what they, they had to find out what happened. They tell you a little bit, they like, hey, they found out that he was using spells. They didn't even know. They had found out after they ended up torturing one of the slaves who told that Mackendale was putting spells on their ass. They didn't listen. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. They didn't even know. And they was and he was poisoning them too. And he was poisoning the animals, the, the supplies, and it wasn't just him. It was a lot of them, y'all. It was a lot of them, y'all. Fucking them boys up. You hear me? Fucking them up. Then when they caught them, they end up catching them because the motherfucker snaked them. They end up catching them. But look what they did to them when they caught them. Cause of death. Death by burning. Heresy. They burnt them at the stake. Now go look up the Salem witch trials. Didn't they do all the Salem witches like that? Now you see if you know about the Haitian Revolution, then you're gonna really understand what took place during the Salem witch trials. The, the Salem witch trials was another time when they came around and killed us. And then when you go look it up in history, they show white people. They wasn't killing white people in the Salem witch trials. Ain't no white people tapped in with no magic like with no black magic like us, nigga. They was killing us, nigga. Black goddesses and black gods were being hunted down and killed in the Salem witch trials, nigga. Yes, see. You don't understand what you are, nigga. You have no clue what you are, what you descend from. You wondering why when you come here, they got to inject you and take your blood. They be trying to see what, which, which, which royal bloodline you come from. Because we got a lot of bloodlines down here, boy. We down this. Well, listen, man. <laughs> we are all gods, but at the same time, we, we do have sections of us. And it's different bloodlines. But each one is is connects with the universe in a different way so together it's like the captain planet thing by our powers combined you are by your powers combined i am captain planet that whole cartoon was all about how we all got this exact these, di these different powers and when we combine them we gonna connect them to a, a higher frequency of bring a different that's what they knew back then so when you got a whole group of them moving with no fear and knowing this power and tapping into yes this is the results, nigga. The Haitian Revolution, which the Haitians won, okay? Which the Haitians won, like they say in his biography. Mackendale created poisons from island herbs. He gang. He created poisons. He created poisons from island herbs. You, don't, you know how dangerous you is? You don't need no gun? Boy, all this plant life right here, and it ain't just over there in no Haiti. This is the lie they dad us believing. They have never put out a book about no plants around you, boy. Every fucking plant around. First off, no none of us try to be no botanist and none of that. Ain't nobody out there. Most of us ain't trying to study plant life. But if you do go study the biology of plant life, they're lying all about it. So at the end of the day, you have no clue that all these plants and leaves around you, you eat certain ones, it will heal everything in you. If you use certain ones, you can create poisons. If you use certain ones, you can create force fields. If you use certain ones, you can create whatever you want. Like li really magical herbs. This is where they get the shit from in video games. When you used to play Mario, you play the video games and you be going through the little shit and you could get this mushroom and you get leveled up and you, you get this little ring, you level up here on video games. That come from real lust, nigga. Our entire planet is like that. Why do you think they don't want you in the fucking forest at all? They keep you out of nature. That's why my ass is in nature, nigga. Then y'all be wondering how I be knowing so much. Or a lot of y'all be like, hey, man, you glowing. I probably am. I come out of nature. I tap in. You feel me? If you wonder why I'm able to do I'm tapping in like right now. No lie. I'm out here tapping into the power of the wind. Because I'm not like when I went down to the keys, I tapped into the power of the water. Right? So, which I already be tapped into the power of the sun. Okay, now for those of you who've been watching me, we used to do mass meditation, so y'all know I ain't never lying. You feel me? Y'all know how we get it. We get on that, we'll shut shit down again. It ain't nothing, but it's all about strategy, though. But at the same time, right now I'm in the mountains, so I'm in the element of earth and air. So I'm out here tapping into this element purposely. You got to go tap into elements. You got to go out there amongst it, and then you'll see what you are and how. watch how nature reacts to you. Fuck what they told you about how nature is going to react to you. Go out in nature and watch how the grizzly bear react to you. You ain't never seen a grizzly bear chasing no black, nobody black, nigga. Have 
You ain't never seen a shark attack a black nigga dead in your life, nigga. You go in the ocean to see how the sharks and the whales and the dolphins respond to you. Fuck what they told you. Most of us never go out there. We be like, I'm scared. Because, right, they didn't scare your ass away from you. Because they know what you are. Nigga, they'll never forget. They will never forget what your ancestors did to them, boy. They will never forget these names. You hear me? They will never forget these names. Ever. Boy. It's real, it's real beef with this shit when you a carbonated being. You don't know what you is. You out here playing and shit like, you know, maybe if I vote, it'll change. Maybe if I don't speak out, I'll be okay. Maybe if you, you all, it don't matter, nigga. You could be woke. You could call yourself, you could call us the conscious community. You could, you could call yourself religious. Whatever you want to call it, it don't even matter. Because the enemy knows what you are. And they throw all that shit out there for your dumb ass. For us to be fighting each other, beefing with each other. Saying what we is, what we ain't. While they sitting back just picking your ass off like a duck. Because they know what you are. That's why they don't fuck with me because they know I know what I am. Nigga. Like that day with the police. If they ass would have tried anything outrageous, boy, a nigga, a million motherfucking. I'm telling you, boy. You hear me? When I started talking, nigga, the sun came out when I was in the parking lot going off out there with, with the police at Publix that day. Nigga, about this being our land, nigga. Because when you talk like that, you commanding primordial energies, boy. This is our land. This is our planet. So when you talk like that, you, you connected to primordial energies. You tapping into realms of power beyond comprehension that they fear. Dark matter energy, nigga. That's what you tapping into. Dark matter energy. And with that comes all type of protection. Boy, you got whole races of warrior Angels, you want to call them chamooch, cherubim, seraphims, angels, whatever the fuck you want to call them, nigga. Boy, you you talk with the right vibration, boy, you going to open the sky around this bitch and you're going to see how much protection you got and what you really are. Because you control the portals with what you say. That's why they had to flip up the language. So when you talking, you ain't opening no portals and shit and letting motherfuckers in. It's going to fuck shit up. Or connecting your damn self to it and you fucking shit up. That's the whole character of the Hulk is about. He get infused with rage, gamma radiation, and what happened? He, look, boy, my son, look. They show you the Hulk. Who is he trying to be? He's trying to be a human being, right? He's trying to be a normal human being. Bruce Banner is trying to be a human being, a normal, nice human being. He can't stand the Hulk. He's trying to hide the Hulk. He want to kill the Hulk. He wants to kill the Hulk, but the Hulk is already in him. Why do he want to kill the Hulk? Because when the Hulk comes out, what did the Hulk do? The other side of them clothes, which was restricting his energy, right? Because cloth affects us. We are electrical beings. We're not supposed to wear cloth. That's why I normally ain't got no shirt on. All right? He rips out of the cloth. He goes green. Green means he's going back to himself. Back to nature, which is how we look before they start filling our atmosphere with oxygen, nigga, and chemtrails, nigga. And then he taps into the gamma radiation within himself, and you see him become this invincible force, and it don't matter what you do. Nigga, the, the more he the, the more rage he get filled with, the more stronger he get, bigger he get, right? So that means the hawk is limitless. That's why when they hit him with tanks, he get bigger and stronger, right? That's us. They talking about us, nigga. They're talking about you. Hiding it right in your face. They talking about you, nigga. You the hawk the whole time walking around trying to be an African American. Trying to be a Latin American. Trying to suppress. Trying to suppress the rage. Your soul know this shit ain't right. Your soul know this ain't how it's supposed to go. But you walking around trying to suppress the rage. You trying to suppress it. You trying to be normal. Try to fit in. But all it takes is that one thing to remember to awaken you at any moment. Just like with the Hulk, at any moment he can flip into the Hulk. That's you. So that's why they go out there every single day, nigga, to attack you, nigga. They don't sleep, nigga. You sleep. They spend every second to kill you. 
Because they know at any second, at any second, boy, you can remember. And when you tap in, all it takes is one of us. They can't take the risk when at any second, any second, you can. And you're supposed to get filled with rage. That's the energy, not anger. Anger is a fallen, is a fallen God. Rage is a is an actual energy. It's a, it's a it's a property. It's a metaphysical property. It's like a, it's like your Nas button. The shift you to that higher level. Because when the rage is righteous and you know that you got something to fight for, like your planet, your country, your future. Not your country, but your planet, your land, your future. You feel me? When that, when you see that, that's righteous rage. When you can look at the road and be like, I can't even talk without my shit tearing up because I'm connected to everything like that around me. I feel the bees pain. You wouldn't even see no bees around you if they wasn't cutting out a goddamn tree, the little, the fake trees down and fucking with they hives just for honey. That they selling stores to you that you supposed to get for free. See what I'm saying? But you see the bee, you want to swap the bee. He floating by you. See the disconnect? You see the disconnect? Did you see the disconnect? It was no disconnection then. In the Haitian Revolution, they were completely connected to nature, and in, in, into into the tap into our, our the essence of our, of of voodoo, Haitian voodoo, if you want to call it Haitian voodoo, because it would, it's not even Haitian voodoo, right? Because it's our culture, it's us. They put Haitian voodoo on it. That's still a Spanish name, so it's still like equating it back to them. But it's just us, right? But all of that is a part of knowing the plants. Listen, how was he able to poison people? If he didn't understand the herbs. How could he understand the herbs? The plants. What plants to mix with what? To create this effect. Unless he was connected with the plants. You feel me? Think about that. He was using plants to create poisons. They didn't have no books. You see how you don't need no book, y'all? They didn't have no books. They didn't have no teachers sit in front of them and teach them shit. Do you feel me out there? They just remembered who they are. How he creating poisons if he ain't connected to the plants? And to me, if you ask me, that's some powerful knowledge. That's right there. Because I guarantee you, creating poisons with them plants and being connected like that is a lot more dangerous than a bullet. You hit a person with a bullet, that's instant death. Or that's instant pain. They out there playing with them, with them plants, man. Plants have life. Remember that. Plants have their own mind, life, body, and soul. The bullet don't have that. All the bullet have is the intent of the user who squeezed the trigger. But the bullet don't even have that. Because the universe going to equate where the bullet going to go or how effective it's going to be. Whereas when you tapping into the plants, the plants are their own beings. So he's connected with them while he's creating his potions. So they working on a whole different level. And that's a whole different type of torture. Well, I'd rather get shot and die right there on the spot than nigga be tortured to death from some type of illness or sickness. Is you crazy? Putting concocting shit where motherfucker drink that shit and they scratching the flesh off their body. They can't stop itching so bad. That's what they was doing to them. They had them scratching flesh off their faces. They had them taking pliers and pulling their own teeth out their mouth.
while being in a semi-conscious state. So they was taking them out their body, going in their body, and acting as their body. Just celebrities on the MK Ultra. Who you think they get MK Ultra from, nigga? Us! But unlike them, we didn't need no machines to walk inside your body. We would just fade right into your avatar. Come on, man. You have not a clue what you are. But they do. And it's documented in the Haitian Revolution. That's just one of the many stories that you can go start with. If you don't think magic is real. You go do a little research. Because then you can understand. If you see how bad they did these people in Haiti. Our ancestors did them. You will understand why they're going to always be at war with Haiti and why they have always sent attacks at Haiti since. So the, what, when the earthquake they just sent was nothing more than an attack. And guess what? You got duality in all things. Every Haitian whose soul is right over there and they vibrating on the right frequency and they need to be there on the planet. They are still over there safely. Any soul that was over there that was under the Haitian moniker that didn't need to be on this realm no more because they was not contributing, they ass had to leave. And that was another, that's a, that's how the ancestors work. They, it's a double-edged sword. So while Zeus think he doing some shit to just hurt us, nah, we gonna double always use it to make it work to our best interest. Like I told y'all, a lot of souls gonna leave right now. You got a lot of walk-ins right now. People leaving through death in the streets in America. People gonna be leaving through all of that. Any soul that's not vibrating how they don't need to be here right now. That's going on as well. But that earthquake they sent was a, was a flat out attack. At the source. Because right now, our people are coming back in tune with Christians. We get back in tune with ourselves and nature. Especially over here in the Americas. We starting to catch back on at a different rate. We starting to remember at a different rate. Okay. Let's attack the source of where we know the magic hub is still very powerful. How you think magic got to Louisiana? That, that, when, when the Haitian rebel, that, that all, how they got to Louisiana? All that's real. Putting the hex on somebody, all of that, but them, them small levels of it. These was real voodoo priests right here, man. You know what I'm saying? These was, they was tapped in on a high frequency. So that's why when they caught them, they killed them. And, and, and not just him though. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all something. Come on, man. Y'all just don't know how, how cold-blooded we is with this game. So you got to understand that it's a war going on, okay? And in all wars, going to be a back and forth. And any war is going to be a back and forth. Just like they sent an attack at Haiti, you better believe we finna send some shit back at their ass. You think, you know, definitely. You feel me? It, like, like, you better know that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just, that's the back and forth of any war. Of any war, you feel me? That just lets you know, like, oh shit, God ain't lying that we warring. It's I'm seeing it all around the planet in real time. We're warring. Check out now. We're gonna go deeper though. We're gonna go deeper though. We don't stop there. Let's go deeper. Duddy Bookman. Another person that you need to know that they don't tell you about. It was many of our ancestors that fought fiercely in this Haitian revolution, and they did it using voodoo. Duddy Bookman. Let's talk about Duddy Bookman. Also, also known as Bookman Duddy, died November 7, 1791. Was an elderly leader of the Haitian Revolution. Born in Senegambia, present-day Senegal and Gambia. He was captured, enslaved, and transported to Jamaica. Okay. He eventually ended up in Haiti where he became a leader of the Maroons and another voodoo priest. Pay attention, y'all. So it's another leader in the Haitian Revolution. All right. That was fucking them up. It was many, y'all. I told y'all it was many. Let me, sh let me show y'all his picture again in case y'all ain't get to see it. This is his picture right here. This Duddy Bookman, y'all. That's his picture. There you go right there. He was another voodoo priest and another leader that fought in the Haitian Revolution and helped and helped Haiti win that war. And they did it using our ancient culture. All right? 
There you go, right there. See, God had the locks. Look at them. Somebody said Remedy H. Hey, it could have been Remedy H in a past life. He do kind of favor him. Could have been. Never know. But I do know this, though. Boom. Let's talk about him. He was an elder, early leader of the Haitian Revolution. Once again, born in Senegal, in present-day Senegal and Gambia. He was captured, enslaved, and transported to Jamaica. He eventually ended up in Haiti. Hold on. There you go. In Haiti, where he became a leader of the Maroons and Voodoo Priest. All right. Bookman, according, hold on, let's, let's read it. According to some contemporary accounts, Bookman, alongside Phil Fatima, Fatima, a Voodoo Mambo, which is another word for Voodoo Priest, a female version, just so y'all can click on, let me, let me show y'all who she was. And we'll, we'll go to her next. There she go. So you see it? She was also another Haitian voodoo priestess, a mambo. She is famous for her participation in the voodoo ceremony in Boyce Cayman, which is considered to be one of the starting points of the Haitian revolution. Okay, so we're going to get on her next. We, we on Duddy Bookman right now, though. I'm just trying to show y'all how many of us been practicing and playing with this art and, and they literally used it to win in the Haitian revolution. And if we tap into that energy, we going to win. We going to win regardless. It's the energy we tapping into. But I'm just telling y'all, I'm, I'm putting y'all on a higher frequency. We not fighting this war with no guns and no bullets. We fighting this war with, with this. You feel me? Guns and bullets is what? Kinetic energy. That's, that's low. That's low. Listen, you tap into certain energies or certain plant life or mineral life or certain electrical properties around you, photon energy, the organ energy, all right? These things around you, within you, you could create force fields using your own chi, your own solar plexus energy. Non-ether being, dark matter energy. You are all carbon. Carbon is the basis on which light, all life is formed. No, think about that now. We could use a little bit of that science. You, you, you all carbon, carbonated beings you are. And carbon is the base from which all life is formed. So how can you not be God? Stop me when I'm lying. You know, niggas act like I just be getting on here saying some shit. Gone with all that little goofy ass religious shit, man. We don't want to hear nothing about it. Because ain't no Christians in the history never did nothing revolted on no platform, nigga. Christianity teaches you to kiss ass and be, and be motherfucking passive, nigga. I, I come out of Christian household. I was baptized at eight. I know all about the lies, nigga, and Christianity, nigga. Christianity breaks you from this. Christianity is what gets your ass whooped, nigga. And keep us in the Negro slave state we in. That's what happened to the world now. It's been Christianized. And look at the results. You got black people blaming black people for all their problems, nigga. And going to false gods to fix them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Pr 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 waiting on a white Jesus to come save your ass, nigga. The Haitians ain't winning that war waiting on no white Jesus. And they was here before your ass. All right? So you need to wake your little, your little young ass up. I don't care if you're 99. If your ass, you could be 103 and a half. If you believe in Christianity, Muslim, and all that, the Islamic religion, and you believe all that, and you haven't done no real, you come on, man. You, you, you not, you not thinking. Now the Muslims will fight. The Muslim culture tell you to fight, right? The Muslim, the only religion where they tell your ass to fight. Other than that, everybody else like, listen, man, we just going to take this ass whooping like a gangster nigga, and that's going to be the end of it. Because Jesus is going Jesus to love us more later. Nigga, Jesus is going to have to not like me, nigga. We ain't taking no ass whoopings. You get what I'm saying? And that's just how, the, that's just how we always been. That's how we always been. That ain't that, like, that, that other mindset is new. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't in Haiti talking about some man when Jesus come out the clouds. Nigga, they, they, made, the, they made the clouds come out the clouds. They wasn't, they didn't pray, you know, they didn't, they didn't get in the Haitian Revolution, Duddy Bookman and them, they wasn't on their knees, nigga, praying to no white Jesus to come save them from these white people fucking them up. How are you going to go to a white Jesus and pray, pray to him to ask his white people not to fuck you up, nigga? That don't even go together. You know, you going to the white Jesus asking him to stop his white people from fucking you up. 
That don't even make sense, man, just in everyday life. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you didn't like they, they, they'll never talk about the Haitian Revolution. They'll never talk about what was being used. You know, they'll never talk about how they lost the war and why they didn't never really want to fuck with them ever again. That's also why they killed the president of Haiti not that long ago. They just killed the president. You feel me? The, all the attacks come from that because you got to understand they got major principalities aimed at Haiti because Haiti has used certain primordial energies to help them in the past. So what are your primordial, primordial beings? These are the same beings that Simeon Toko, where they were talking about in the Simeon Toko story. These are the, they call them the cherubim in the Bible. These are these huge, strong, black gods. Yes, they look like us. They just giants, bigger, way bigger. And they not, but they gods. But their exact role is to do that war and fight and protect against these other negative energies. And these primordial beings, they don't never come in the physical because they didn't come down here with us. Remember, all the guys that came from, from, from the Sirius star system that descended here, we the ones or we the ones who fell from the frequency into the physical because we the ones who signed up to come here on the, as, as original spiritual assassins to help build up planet Cop. You feel me? When we came from um, the 19th galaxy, you know what I'm saying? We came down to this planet to make this planet like a second headquarter, or almost like a spiritual dojo for for us because we are the original guardians of the galaxies and then we got stuck down here but that was just us and then we started procreating down here but remember we let the majority of us never came down here had other jobs already that they was doing so when you so that's why when you get to saying shit like this is my land and you tapping into the and you commanding what you know is yours you get help from the primordial energies these primordial beings that are like literally uh, come through the sky nigga literally because you're using you're you're using certain vibrations when you commanding when you commanding that's what the truth does because the, they have took the uh, the whole English language has been designed to keep you from from using certain vibrations so everything you're saying is against you so when you do speak truth or when you do just say certain basic shit like hold on it's my land nigga it's my planet just a basic understanding with that type of feeling right just saying it like that. You already calling on a certain back and behind you. You already calling on nature and all that. Or when you go out there and meditate and you talk to nature, you're like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking y'all to step up and fight with us in this war for, for, for um, 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 forcefully. I'm asking y'all to understand that I understand that you are not happy right now. This is how I talk to nature when I go out there. I say, hey, I understand you're not happy right now. I understand that you hurt. I understand the pain. I, in I understand that. I'm here to re to help you reestablish that connection back with the gods because they don't remember who y'all is. I'm on the planet right now to, like I said, I came to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency. I did not come to make you believe me. If you don't believe, that's on you. I'm not here to convince you. I'm not telling you this to get you the opinion, to believe. None of that. I came to enlighten and inform and raise the frequency of the planet, and that's what I'm doing. I don't give a fuck whether you believe or not. I, I, I don't care whether you like me or not. I don't care if I'm your friend. I don't care if I'm your favorite. I don't care if I'm your least favorite you know what i'm saying that ain't what i that ain't what i came to do just to help open up certain energy points so 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 downloads can flow in to help get y'all back to a certain level so y'all can remember who y'all are i'm not telling you shit you don't already know once again key word for those who cannot infer key word for those who fail in reading inference in school okay i always say remember i came to help you remember who you are okay i'm not forcing it on you you don't have to believe anything i'm saying i'm not your god i don't know it all i will never know it all because it's too much look wisdom is infinite you know it's 12 universes i've only been i've only been to two three the sixth the eighth and now the ninth because we're in the ninth universe right now planet kai or earth it's located in the ninth universe. The 999,000th planet. I told y'all that. What the universe was, was made of. You don't have to believe me. But I told you. you. See what I'm saying? I told you. You got 12. It's one multiverse. Consisted of nine universes with three alternates. Each universe is composed of 999,000. What? Let's see who remember. 
each universe is composed of what? Nine hundred ninety nine what? Galaxies. Yes. Thank you. Righteous light and bay. Let's see who remember who been paying attention in class. I've been saying this for for a minute now on the internet. Now, thank you, y'all. It's one multiverse. Nine composed of nine universes with three alternates. So that means it's twelve universes in total. Each universe is composed of nine hundred ninety nine galaxies. Each galaxy is composed of nine hundred ninety nine planets. Each planet is composed of nine realms. Okay, so planet Earth or planet Kai is located. We are located in the ninth universe. Okay. In the 999th galaxy. You get what I'm saying? On the 999th planet. This was the very last planet to be created in the entire multiverse. In planet Earth or planet Kai, this is the only place where you can look up into the sky and see the entire multiverse. Those are not stars. Those are portals and planets and universes okay and it's the only plan we could do that so that's why i always say remember who you are remember you don't have to believe me i just came to enlighten and inform and to present the perspective to you it's up for you to take the information and throw it out the window or take it to you but it should be no beef so I don't know why it's YouTubers discrediting the things I teach about because if you don't simply agree, then just simply don't agree. But when you attack it, that just further let me know that you were sent by the elites to try to discredit a source of energy that will never be discredited because once again, I didn't come to be a part of the matrix. I didn't come down here for views, I didn't come down here for likes, I didn't come down here for uh, money or none of that. I only came to enlighten and inform and raise the frequency of the planet and remind y'all who y'all are and where y'all located and talk about stuff like this, this Haitian revolution and voodoo and magic, black magic to be exact, dark matter energy, alchemy and mental alchemy and how to transmute base metal to gold and energies and properties and all of this stuff that, 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 that they won't tell you about, but they'll tell you it's crazy or it's impossible. But they lost whole wars to this shit, and you wonder why they hide it from you. Okay? And it's going to forever be beef with Haiti because of this. So, you know, that's just like in any war. We could break that down to the hood. If y'all go kill a nigga on that side, what's going to happen? They're going to come kill somebody in y'all hood. And then what y'all going to do? Y'all going to go kill somebody in their hood. And then what's going to happen? Y'all can go back and forth forever. It is going to go generation to generation to generation to generation to generation to generation. Like how it is right now. When they talk about the BDGD war in Chicago, motherfuckers think that shit started with Chief Keith. Y'all is beyond y'all wits, all right? Once again, stay off the internet. Read, listening to the type them type of lies. That whole BDGD war been some shit that's been going on before I came back to the planet. Shit been going on. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Because it's inherited beef. When people, that's just a small example. So that's the same thing that's going on in Haiti. You, you all, have, they have inherited the beef. You get what I'm saying? Because of how intense the war was. And how intense the war was. And how our ancestors did their ancestors. They live in fear to this day. When they think of. The Haitian Revolution and Duddy Bookman and Francis McMackendale and 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 and, C and Cecile Fatima and 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 and, and Queen Nanny the Maroons in Jamaica. They don't get scared when you talk about guns. They don't even get scared when you get money. You know what they get scared? They get scared when your ass start dealing with spirit with the spiritual realms. That's what they fear: the spiritual realms, the dark matter energy, the chi. The understanding of quantum physics and how to manipulate it. The connection to the, your connection back to nature. That's what they fear. They don't fear us when we talking shit on, on YouTube. They don't feel us when niggas flashing money. They don't feel a nigga when a nigga got a gun talking about we finna go kill the police or war with the police. They don't fear that. That's their level. That's kinetic energy. They like gunplay. They like that. They the original barbarians. 
They the original savages. Let's not forget. We was never barbaric at no point in time. We was always gods. We was always vibrating high. Golden energies. Nine ether beings. Electrical beings. Original sciences. The original geneticists and eugenics physicists. That's us. So they don't fear you when you come on their level. They don't fear that. They fear this though. They fear this though. They fear this though. They fear, they fear this though. Let me show you what else. Let me show you what else they fear, y'all. This is what they fear. They fear this type of shit right here. Nigga. They fear when you do this. This is what they fear. They fear you. They fear when you do this. See? This is what they fear, y'all. This is what they fear, y'all. You see? You see? That's what they fear. That's what they fear. This is what they fear. When you come out here in nature like this, this is what they fear. It connect with the rattlesnakes. There's rattlesnakes out here. I'm connected. This is what they fear. Feel me? They don't, they don't, they don't fear, they don't fear when we talk shit. They don't fear when we march, nigga. They don't fear when we get some money and because you still gotta pay property tax to them, nigga. And they don't fear when you get guns because they make all the guns, nigga. Even though they making the guns out of your carbonated body. They don't fear that though. But what they do fear, when you tap into it with the Mauritius, and you connect back with nature, and you and you connect back and you start back practicing trying to control the element of water and fire and air and earth connecting back to the elements connecting back to nature that with you that which you are that's what they hear they fear when you go get them candles and you start because what does candles represent why do people use candles and candle magic let me give you something and the reason i started talking about magic online like that and i ain't go too deep is because people start trying to attack me so i'm not going to teach y'all some shit so y'all try to use it against me I, I learned from that. So I'm like, okay, I'm cool on that. So I'm not going to go too deep. Because if it's meant for you to tap in on that level, you're going to tap in regardless. Because once again, when the path is for you, it's for you. You don't need to listen to Rashad Jamal to walk that path. That path is already laid out for you. I'm just a guide along that path. You know how many motherfuckers won't come walk this path or listen to shit I got to say? But let me tell you something about candle magic. The reason candle magic is effective is because you're using the element of fire. All magic requires you to use the elements. But guess what? You can't use them if you're scared of you. You're scared of that five-point star. You see them, oh, that's witchcraft. But what do them points represent? Earth, air, wind, fire, plasma energy, or spirit, as they like to call it in, in, in Wicca. Earth, air, fire, Water, spirit, spiritual realms, plasma energy. That's what that five point star represent that you be seeing in them books that you want to call witchcraft that you ran away from your whole life. The elements. That's why they sit in a circle when you're doing a rest ceremony or you're doing a certain ritual. You put the you circle out with the chalk and you draw the star because you're commanding the elements. You need them for whatever spell you're trying to cast. But you know, niggas forgot they was nature, though. Niggas rather burn a candle of a white Jesus and get on their knees and do and do and do the same shit, but not get results. You know? You should be practicing your art. You should be sitting at home practicing trying to move the pour some water in a cup. Like, let me see if I can make this wait, make this water in this cup move. I'm gonna treat it like I would in the gym. I'm gonna take 10 minutes a day and work on it. I'm gonna do three sessions. Try it and see what start happening. You don't try it once and expect it to happen. That's not being real. Because you can't do shit once and it happens, nigga. You go to the gym, you ain't gonna get it doing what hitting the weight one time. You good. You gotta keep hitting the weights, nigga. You ain't learned nothing in your life doing it one time. You ain't learned it. Sit down and start practicing moving stuff with your mind. Start practicing connecting to these different elements. 
Try it. Practice it. You practice it, and then you let me know the results of the month. You let me know. Let me know if you learned something new about yourself. You try sitting in a room and cut the light on and say, you know what? I'm going to cut the light off with my mind. I'm going to just sit in my room and practice on cutting the light off with my mind. Let me try this. Let me, let me work on it like I would on my jump shot. Let me work on it like I would if I worked at a job. Your boss taught you something. You're going to work on it. But if you ain't going to take the time to sit with yourself to try it, you can't say what you can and can't do. You don't even know what you can do because you've never tried it. You've never even thought about trying it. Five minutes shit crazy. And that's exactly how they kept you from you. We ain't got to march to make no change. Well, do you know 2,000 of us can sit at home right now, close our eyes, and set the same intent in our mind, and thus it shall be. It ain't going to take a day. It ain't going to take a week. It's going to take as long as you make it take. It's going to happen. It's how hard you... What are you? What do you believe you are? It's more important than what you actually are, though. Because the mind, remember? We create with this. You are the ancient being. So whatever you say and believe, thus it shall and will be. So what you believe you are is way more important than what you actually are. Because right now you are a God with unlimited capabilities. Everything you want and need is literally just a thought. But you believe that you're not that. So that's the reality you create. And you got human beings who are not anciently gods, but they believe that they can attain something. And you'll see their ass out there skydiving. You'll see them diving in the depths of the ocean. While you watching them do it at home, so I'm like, I never do that. They must be crazy. They just, they still have a spirit. So they have the power and, and, and it's power that comes with spirit with, with having a spirit. That's electricity. That's a supercharge that they have. They don't have the soul, but they still have a supercharge. But by, by them believing just a little bit, that pineal gland, get that supercharge from that spirit they have. And next thing you know, they ass down in the motherfucking ocean, nigga. Now imagine what you would do if you went down in the ocean actually being an ancient being. If you went into the ocean with that same fearless spirit that they do. Imagine if you went out there and sat with them crocodiles with that same fearless spirit like they do. What you think would happen? I bet you, I bet you ain't gonna get your ass ate up like, like they told you. I bet you don't. The only way that crocodile going to fuck with you is if you go out there on some shit they be on trying to kill the crocodile, take the baby, take the, get the skin for one, and make croc shoes and shit. No, I'm talking to you on a, on, a, on, a, on a real deep level right now. Let's go up. Why is it that inorganic beings of this planet have no fear of nature, but you do? Because nature does something different for you than it will for them. You are nature. Your connection to her is you don't even have to try. It's just organic. You know, and you still hold all the keys. You hold all the keys to the entire universe in your carbon, just in your carbon. And you wonder why they hate your black skin. Nigga, that's the keys. All that neuromelanin, this is neuromelanin. Dark matter energy, when, at its, when dark matter energy is at its highest plasma state, it's just dark matter energy. But as it descends from plasma to gas to liquid to solid, dark matter energy manifests in the solid realm as carbon. Carbon becomes what they like to the code as Neuromelanin. So, once again, 
if you truly understood what you are and what you were, you would never ask them, why are they killing black folks? Why are they steady killing us? Why they didn't ever give us the chance? Why, why it's like we get the shit end of the stick? Why in the game of chess, white go first and black go last, just like in real life? It would be no wise. You would never try to be an Uncle Tom or kiss ass because you got, you got what they want. You wearing it. Well, you walking around wearing it. So you just flashing it in their face. They can't have a bucket envious of you. You flashing it. To them, you flashing. To you, you just walking around. You can't help the fact you, you full of neuromelanin. But to them, it's like, you know, Everything they ever showed you in cartoons is real, boy. Fairies, gnomes, dragons. These are all part of the family of elemental beings. Let's talk science. They are called elemental beings. Like gnomes and fairies. They go hand in hand with the earth element. And they watch over it. How do you think Duddy Bookman and them was do, was tapping in? You got to know all this when you tapping into magic and voodoo. You got to know about the elemental beings. You can't do this. Check this out. It's a, according to some temporary accounts, Bookman and Cecile Fatima, another voodoo priestess, they presided over the religious ceremony at Boise. Now, this is the ceremony where the Haitians came together and decided to revolt, y'all. Boise came, and this is the, let's click on it. So y'all can see it for yourself. Roll during the Haitian Revolution. Before the Boise came in ceremony, voodoo rituals were seen as an event of social gathering where enslaved Africans had the ability to organize. Okay, let's read what they said about it. These meetings and opportunities to organize were considered harmless by white slave owners. Therefore, they were permitted. It also argued that voodoo created a more humongous black culture in Haiti. All right. But on the night of August 14th, 1791, representative, representative slaves from nearby plantations gathered to participate in a secret ceremony conducted in the woods by nearby Lee Cap in the French colony in St. Domingue, presided over by Duddy Bookman. All right, and Cecile Fatima. So they they the ones who organize the this 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 ceremony where all type of spells were cast. Check it out. The ceremony served as both a religious ritual and strategic meeting as enslaved Africans met and planned the revolt against their ruling white enslaved owners of the colony's wealth, Northern Plain. The ceremony is considered the official beginning of the Haitian Revolution. So at that ceremony, of course, they're not going to get deep. They're not going to give you the spaghetti sauce. They're going to give you the spaghetti, but not the sauce. You know them. They're going to give you peanut butter without the jelly. That's them. That ceremony, they called in all type of ancestral energies. All right. To help them fight in this war. So it wasn't just them using the spells and the incantations. They was literally, it was literally beings appearing through portals that was coming out the sky and coming through the forests and the woods and the war out the waters to help them fight. Like, yeah, like <coughs> this shit was like some shit straight out of a movie. You feel me? And that's why they do not like to talk about it. The Haitian Revolution. Because of how we won that war and how we was tapping in. They want y'all to think all this shit is not possible. The shit they showed you in the movie Lucy, that's us. But when she got to that 100%, that's us. That's our DEA. You feel me? So that's why so many of our people don't believe magic is real. Because they don't even know about this type of history. This actually took place. They have not a clue. And Jesus ain't had nothing to do with nothing. Or Muhammad. No. I'm not knocking nobody that believe in religion. I'm actually trying to get you to get up out of that so you can get your power back. I don't knock you. I know you believe in this shit because it was forced upon us through colonies, through um, 
uh, colonialization. That's what it. That's what it was. Colonialization. Uh, uh, when the Spanish conquistadors took to the land and colonized everything, they they forced Christianity on us. That's why the Zulus was at war. They was trying to get Shaka Zulu and them to accept Christianity. That's the whole reason he was warring with they ass. You know. So check this out though. Let's get deep with him though. Duddy Bookman was a motherfucker. It say this event was followed by the participants of the Boise ceremony to revolt against the white oppressors due to their promise to the mysterious woman who appeared during the ceremony. So check this out. Remember I told during, during the ceremony, y'all, pay attention. Remember I just said they not they they gonna give you the spaghetti, but they not gonna give you the sauce. They ain't say shit about these primordial energies or these ancestral beings or these extraterrestrial beings, if you want to call them that, that came through these portals out the sky and was coming through different locations. I just said that, right? But check this out. Peep how they still slid the shit in there, though. Peep, check, check them out, y'all. They say, at the ceremony, let's read, them, let's read the lie closely. The event was followed by participants in this ceremony to revolt against, hold on, against their white oppressors due to their promise to the to the mysterious woman. Okay, so it's a, they basically saying that this event was followed by the ceremony, and at the ceremony they promised a revolt against the white oppressors, and they had to revolt because they made a promise to some to a mysterious woman who appeared during the ceremony. Then let they jump past it. The participants liberated plantations throughout the area. To reduce the social disorder of the rebellion, the French captured Bookman and beheaded him. So this is the second person that got beheaded in this Haitian Revolution. Because the first person got beheaded too. Well, he got burnt at the stake. The French then displayed his head on Cap Square to prove his mortality and French power. All right. So basically, Bookman was so powerful that they caught that they chopped his head off. And they displayed it to all to everybody to show that he was not invincible. You see it? Y'all see it? But that's what they said happened. But check this out. They said they killed him and beheaded him. But check out what witnesses say. The witnesses say it didn't go like that. The witnesses say that during the ceremony, a witness described the presence of 200 enslaved Africans at the event. Okay. The event was presided over by Duddy Bookman, a, hung, a, a, a voodoo priest. The African woman figure that appeared declared Bookman the supreme chief of the rebellion. Okay. They say in the following days, the whole northern plains was in flames. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Is y'all reading this? Hold on. I'm going to go deeper. But let me break it down to y'all. What they saying right now, in case y'all don't know. So they like... They at this ceremony, right? And out of nowhere, this mysterious woman just appeared. But they didn't mention this woman none in the fucking paragraph. They just, she just all of a sudden appears, right? And then they go into a whole paragraph about this mysterious woman that appeared out of nowhere at this voodoo ceremony that started the Haitian Revolution. Now, I'm telling you, the mysterious woman, these are primordial beings. These are primordial beings. That once you tap into this energy, they have to protect you because this is their role in the cosmos. And that when you tap into these energies, they will appear. And that's what happened. And she appeared, right? And she basically told them, like, okay, y'all got to ride now. We ride with y'all because y'all called on us. So we got to ride. It's like an incantation. You can incant and call upon. You can conjure up certain spiritual energies is what I'm saying, y'all. With certain vibrations, you can conjure up certain spiritual energies. And these, that, and, then, and, I'm not, and I'm not talking about no Orishas. The Orishas are completely different than, from these primordial energies. You have so many ancestors and so many powerful gods that, you, that are a part of your bloodline that you have no clue about because this was hidden from you. Okay? So... They called upon these primordial energies once again, like I'm telling y'all, because they not telling y'all that they jumping around. Where the fuck, where the fuck she come from, then? Who the fuck was she? And when, and if the fuck, and if y'all don't know if she wasn't important, then why the fuck is y'all mentioning her in the Wikipedia story?
So y'all know all this shit that happened when she was there, but don't know who she was, huh? This is how y'all catch them and they lie. This is how you be like, oh, they leaving shit out. Thank you, Rashad Jamal, for, for connecting the dots. You feel me? Let's keep reading, man. So they say that they seen over 200. They felt the presence. A witness says they felt the presence of over 200. So that mean they wasn't there, y'all. Only the presence was. So now we're dealing with we're dealing with quantum realms now. We're dealing with quantum physics and we're dealing with the astral planes. And now we're dealing with what you want to call um, the, um, the quote unquote supernatural. They wasn't there. She said they felt the presence of 200 enslaved. So they could have just said ancestors, nigga. You know, but they don't want to let you know about the, the type of energy, the type of power you got. Okay, so look, they felt the presence of over 200 enslaved Africans at this event. They said the event was, was ran, organized by Duddy Bookman. Head voodoo priest. The African woman, really, she one of the goddesses, though. They didn't know that, though. They know that, but they don't want to tell you who she was. So they just trying to say the African woman figure that appeared declared Bookman the chief. So that's right. She gave him his juice. Right. She gave him his, his, right, right. Okay. She gave him his shit. Now check this out. In the following days after she gave him, his power after she passed on certain energies to him because he called upon her help. They called upon these ancestors. They tapped in. Look what happened. The whole Northern Plains went in flames. Why? Because they was tapping into the elements. They're not going to tell you how the whole fucking Northern Plains went on flame. Went, just went up in flames. Because, you know, couldn't no person start that. Can't no one person set no whole damn plane on fire. Then the whole Northern Plains, that's like, that would be the equivalent, y'all, of... All the great planes over here in the USA being on fire at one time. Out the blue. I don't give a fuck how much fire you got. You're not lighting no whole war. One person right now can go to the woods and light up no whole. You ain't lighting. You can't get 100,000 people and y'all can all have a, a lighter in y'all hand, nigga. And light a branch, nigga. And I bet you the whole woods don't go up in fire. It takes a higher level of energy. But somehow, some way, the whole northern plains was, up, it was, was in flames. Because he tapping into nature. When you're working with fire, fire just come up for you out of air anywhere. When you're working with the elements, they'll, they'll react anywhere. So what they were really doing was using spells and incantations. They were they, they letting you know right now that they were using fire and water and air to win this fucking war. That's what they're telling you. Man, look, y'all. Let's look at the accounts. Let's look at the accounts, y'all. Let's see what they saying, and I'll break it down for y'all. So look, 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 look what they saying. So they say the following days, the whole Northern Plains was in flames as the revolutionaries fought against the whites who had enslaved them. Boy, I told y'all. I told we couldn't. Man, listen. All right. Clouded in mystery, many accounts of the, of, the, of the cataclytic ceremony and its particular details have varied. There they go lying. When they get to saying as many accounts, they, that's how you know they lying. They say there are no known firsthand written accounts about what took place that night. It was first documented in the white colonist Antonio D Dalamas' history of the San Domingue Revolution. Peep gang. Check what he said, though. He said, this God who made the sun, who brings us light from above, who raises the sea, and who makes the storm rumble. That God is there. Do you understand? Hiding in a cloud. He watches us. He sees all that the whites do. The God of the whites pushes them to crime. But he wants us to do good deeds. But the God who is so... So he's talking about their white God. But the God who is so good orders us to vengeance. He will direct our hands and give us help. Throw away the image of, of the God of the whites who thirst for our tears. Listen to the liberty that speaks in all our hearts. Oh, that's what they were saying, right? This is Haiti, right? Now let's keep going down to another excerpt. 
from the official history of the Haiti and Haitian Revolution. It says a man named Bookman, voodoo priest, held a meeting with the slaves in the mountains of the north. This meeting took the form of a voodoo ceremony in the northern mountains of the island. I want y'all to also notice that the hardest is power. Where did they go? To the mountains. Where I'm at right now, in the mountains. And what did I tell y'all mountains are? Trees. And if you know about really what the trees did for us, then you will know why it's not no fucking, it's not no coincidence that all throughout history, whenever certain spiritual people go to the mountains, they always tap into a higher form of energy. I'll leave it at that. Let's keep going. All right. <clears throat> they say they was in the northern mountain island. They say it was raining and the sky was raging with clouds. They made it rain, though. See, they're not going to tell you that Bookman was making it rain with the voodoo ceremony. They're going to make it just sound like it was raining. No, they was opening up a portal. Look, it was raining. This is what they say they seen. It was raining and the sky was raging with clouds. The slaves then started confessing their resentment of their condition. Okay. This how y'all. This is an actual spell right here, y'all. They basically telling y'all a spell of how to how to conjure up your ancestors right here. If you reading in between the lines, look at it. What was they doing at the ceremony? It was raining and the sky was raging with clouds. But they already told you why because the slaves had already confessed the way they felt. It say the slaves then started confessing their resentment of their condition. So whenever you're going through a meditative state and you started like confessing how how bad you feel, how tired you are, how hurt you are about something, about something to the cosmos, you starting to call on your ancestral energies to protect you. They have to step in when you do that. Listen, y'all. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all done seen me cry on live before, right? That's a spell when I've done that. And that make the answers to step in harder and nature step in harder and, and they react. I didn't call so much planet destruction around this bitch with me just saying I want that done they do it this is why you got to tap into your feminine side this is why they tell man you shouldn't cry because we gods right they don't want you crying because you're a natural warrior but when you if you do cry you're tapping into your feminine side you're tapping into that's an energy nigga that's an energy it's like like when you confess that you tied up with something when, when you fed up with it and you just put it out there like that you're pouring your soul out and your your ancestors have to step in and protect you nigga that's what y'all don't know. That's another reason why they want the world to be free from, from um, a connection. That's another, another reason why they disconnected you because they don't want you to be able to relate to the pain of everybody else because that's all that energy. And then we, you, you know how, yeah, it's, it's, it's all magic. It's all a form of magic, y'all. It's all a form of magic. But check it out. It was raining and the sky was raging with clouds. The slaves, what they they then started confessing, so they started incanning, they started chanting, they started chanting, they they titled what they they so that's what they was doing, right? They started confessing their resentment of their condition, and then out of nowhere, a woman started dancing in the crowd, taken by the spirits of the Laos, which is what they call uh, ancestral energies, um um in Haiti, all right, or all through Cuba and stuff like that. But it's just another word for like ancestors, all right. So. Um, it say with a knife in her hand, she cut the throat of a pig, right? And distributed the blood to all the participants of the meeting who swore to kill all the whites on the island. Now that part, they lying. They throwing that in there because you got to think in voodoo, right? They have mixed a lot of, listen, they have lied. Listen, they don't want you to know the truth. So even if you look at present day voodoo, you got to be careful because a lot of that is mixed up with Christian theology. So like the whole taking the cut cutting the pig or cutting the animal and sacrificing we never had to sacrifice our animals to tap into no energy so that's all back going into that uh zeus theology that's why you got to be careful like even voodoo now like because they do like to mix the christian theology with it and that ain't how we that ain't had nothing to do with us so it get deep but let's i just want to i just want to point that out where they line at let's keep it going let's keep it going okay now let's read this point let's read another account Despite purport, purported facts and embellishments that have dra dramatized the ceremony over well dramatized the ceremony over the centuries, the most reoccurring antidote is the sacrifice of a black Creole pig to Nzili Danto by the Mambo Cecile Fatima and the pack formed through its blood. Dallas provided the very first written account of the sacrifice. A black pig, let's read it. A black pig surrounded by slaves believed to have magical powers. 
<laughs> Each carrying the most bizarre offering was offered as a sacrifice to the all-powerful spirit. The religious community in which the Negress slit its throat, the greed with which they have believed to have marked themselves on the forehead with his blood, the importance that they attach to owning some of his bristles, which they believe would make them invincible. Okay, so when they talk about this black pig, right, and they telling you how to do a whole spell right here, but the black pig is you, though, because remember, this is on Wikipedia, all right? So I'm gonna break it down for y'all. This Wikipedia, you know, they gonna they ain't gonna give it all. They gonna whip, they gonna throw you off. The black pig represents you, dark matter energy. Okay, when it say surrounded by slaves who had magical powers, that once again represented us, because we all have we come with those magical powers. We born with that. All right. Now when it say each carrying the most bizarre offering, which was offered as the sacrifice to the all powerful spirits. Whenever you practice any form of magical incantations, if you're trying to incant or conjure up spirits, certain spirits do require certain things. So you do you do want to give them like some form of, a, of an offering. That is true. But most of the times you could do something natural like a fruit or like something natural. It don't require no blood. Nothing that's going to kill no nature. No, no positive spirit is going to require a sacrifice of blood or any of that. If you tapping into a spirit or you dealing with a medium and that spirit is talking to you and that spirit even says some shit about, hey, I want some blood. You dealing with a satanic spirit because a, 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 a truce, you got to know in the spiritual realm, you still got duality as above, so below. So that's why it's dangerous to, to, to go do all the, 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 the play with that if you don't know what you're doing. Because, yeah, spirits will come to you and be like, hey, I need an offering. And now your ass out here doing that shit thinking that you're doing the right thing. No, we ain't going to never kill us. We will never ask you to kill one of the animals, to kill one of the plants, to kill yourself. We, we, why, what we want that for? We don't need that. We love everything we created. So when you see that type of shit, you already know. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They try to, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know, you gotta know, because that's how they'll confuse you. You feel me? That's just like right now, it's a it's a theory out there saying that I said that if white people help us in the war, they're gonna get a soul back. I ain't never said no shit like that. That's how you took it. I was breaking down science that you just simply don't understand yet. And that's how that goes. So you inferred it and you took it and you ran off with it, like the telephone game. And, you know, instead of coming back and re asking me to, re, to, to, to reiterate on it, you took it and ran off with it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what I said, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What I said about spirits and souls is that white people are soulless beings. And that they have a spirit. But if they, that if, but if they tap into their pineal gland, they can rise in frequency. Yes, they can. And once they rise to that extreme frequency, they can be granted a soul because that's part of, they grant the soul to their damn self. It ain't no, oh, you, you give a soul out like it's money. No, but it's a metaphysical thing. You It's like you can't arise up through energetic levels. So at the end of the day, that's that's if that science is beyond your comprehension, just say that. Just say that. You feel me? That's okay. That's okay. You feel me? But I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and not and, and limit my and limit my depth of information because motherfuckers out there don't know what I mean when I mean it. Just like you got white people that think I'm racist when I'm not, and you got white people that 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 that, that don't fuck with me. You feel me? That's just how it go. You got black people that think. Um, I'm the devil and I'm an agent, right? And then you got other black people that listen to me. That's just how it go. I mean, like, if, if people ain't talking about you, then you're not doing something positive. That's just life. So at the end of the day, like, but don't take, don't, don't take and, 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 and flip my teachings and put your own theory to it and be like, well, he said that if, if, if Rashad Jamal said that if the human being race help us fight in this war, then we, the gods, gonna give them souls. That ain't what I said. You feel me? Because the soul, the soul is still energy. It's life force. It's life force. And the only reason that human beings even have that doorway is because when Satan originally created them, he created them in our fucking image. This is science, nigga, because Satan is us. He looks just like us. Zeus is one of us. All right, Zeus is one of us. He's one of us who fell out of frequency and went against us, who turned on us, nigga. That's the science of us. OK, so when he created the human being race, he created them in his image, which is why in their creation story, the Bible, Genesis, God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our. OK, because Satan had a bunch of people that punch a bunch of guys that left with him already. We had already whipped his whole ass. We had already whipped his whole ass and he left with them. We whipped his ass and we whipped their ass. A whole war broke out right here. 
We already know that. So I don't know who the fuck is out there lying saying, oh, well, Rashad Jamal said, no, you better take your ass back and start from the first lecture. And instead of just watching the lecture and thinking you got it because you watched it, nigga, watch that motherfucker a hundred times. And then go back and re do more research on your own. Don't just be breezing through no lectures and then going out there lying and shit. He said this. No, that's the way your ass took it. Study some more. You know what I'm saying? G gain more insight. That is not what the fuck I meant. You feel me? That's the way you took it. You feel me? So at the end of the day, that's true. Just like every fucking God ain't vibrating high so their ass ain't getting through the door. That's what I just said about Haiti. You feel me? Like, you got some of them guys over there that, 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 that died in them earthquakes because they ass wasn't righteous anyway. It don't matter what complexion you is, nigga. And like I keep telling you, we can't keep getting caught up in these goddamn white people titles. What are you genetically? That's what you are. I don't want to hear shit about you, no African-American. I don't want to hear shit about you black. I don't want to hear shit about you Puerto Rican, Latino, Barrique. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I want to hear shit about... You Indian, I don't want to hear shit about none of these, all these motherfucking European titles. These are all European titles. All right, so like they were saying in this voodoo spell that they telling you all about on Wikipedia, but they know that your ass don't believe in it, so they don't expect you to try to up, up, apply it to your everyday life. But they basically saying right here when they tell you how... When they saying the reason that the degree which they have believed to be filled, they used the blood to mark themselves with. But no, that ain't true. Basically, when they pointed out certain things that was that they had wrong within their community, like the greed, they 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 noted that when they came to the to the ancestors for help, they noted that. And then they say the importance that they attached to owning some of its bristles, which they believe would make them invisible. So the owning of the bristles just represents Having uh 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 when you practice in any form of magic, you have to cut you have to and definitely when you ask for help, first off, you have to admit your pain. Second, you have to go into you have to go into the weakness that you possess. Theirs was greed that they said at the time. So they said they used the pig's blood to wipe their foreheads. The blood was to wipe away the greed that they had already started to go into, the energy they started to fall into amongst themselves. All right. Because it's always something that's going on that's going to affect the way we fall in and out of frequency. So they acknowledged where they was wrong at. Note that. And then they had the bristle. So the bristle was something that they held on to that they believed to be an impact to what was going to help them through this war. So if you take out all the little titles and look at the energy and the intent, it's basically showing you how to set up your own force field to go into a spiritual battle. Because the war they went into... With the Spanish, the Spanish went into that war physically. They went into that war with a physical mindset, with physical weaponry. They didn't go into that war on a on a on a cosmic level, on an astral planes, on a phys on a on a spiritual level. They didn't go into that level on that frequency. They only was dealing with physical kinetic energy while we were dealing with spiritual spiritual weaponry and electricity. So this is an advanced level of magic that we're talking about here. They said he set the whole, he tapped in and they set the whole damn planes on fire. Understand, I want y'all to see what they were doing to get to that level to even use that magic. Now you're going to see why I be talking about nature. Now you're going to see why I say peace reflection. To, to tap into these ancestral energies to use your voodoo. Voodoo and hoodoo is the small forms of the magic that you possess. Okay? It's a level to where you don't have to conjure up nobody. But you got to get there, though. All right. But I want you to see what and who you are. I want y'all to know what happened to Haiti and why it happened. But I want y'all to see just by documenting some of them, how long this has been going on through history and why the Haitian Revolution is not talked about or taught over here in American schools at all. None of these people I'm naming we have ever heard of over here in American schools. And we can keep going. Like, we can just keep going. I'm just playing with Wikipedia. Like, it goes way deeper than Wikipedia, though. But we're going to play with what we got. Let's click on her. Another one. She was another one that was fucking them people up. All of these faces they showed, they were docking as leaders. Haitian voodoo priest. She was fucking them people up. Goddess. Look at that. She go right there. One of the goddesses. Haitian voodoo priest. All right. Fucking them people up. <whistles> Let 
Look, check this out. So they say they trying to concoct it back to drinking blood. All right, because they blood drinkers. So even when they telling her story, they want to make it seem like it was the drinking of the blood that gave her her power. They so fucking sick. These elites so sick. They on Wikipedia trying to make it seem like she got her power from drinking blood because they fucking blood drinkers. You see them? They on here making it seem like her power came from drinking blood because they blood drinkers. Fuck out of here. So even if you do find it, they like, up. Oh, let's lie if they do find it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Check her out, though. Blood from the animal, and some say humans as well, from as well was given in a drink to the attendees. So they say that she made them drink animal and human blood and to make them be loyal to fight with with her in the Haitian Revolution. And by them drinking the blood, they say she uh, she became possessed by the goddess Urzuli. And they say that she didn't even become possessed. They say she acted. Keyword: Cecile acted as if. So when you see that type of shit, they 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 basically trying to say that she didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's called that's called talking over your head. Let's find out who this goddess Urzuli was for those who don't know. Because they said that's who she became possessed by. Urzuli, Urzil, Urzili is a family of Loa or spirits. All right. So on here, they're telling you that it represents a family of spirits, feminine, feminine bodies associated with water. All right. This is what they saying. This is what Wikipedia is saying. Okay. See, and this is where they get to the mixing it up with Christianity. You feel me? So, and they don't go too deep. But check this out. So, they basically said the Black Madonna. All right. So, Let's use the word, let's replace the word with ancestors, okay? So let's replace the word, y'all, so, no, so that don't nobody get confused with ancestors, okay? So she became possessed by one of the ancestors, okay? And they saying that, because Urzuli is just a family of spirits, all right? So they saying that she was also said to have cut the throat of a pig and offered his blood to the spectators. Then they go again in line. Then they say after they drunk the blood, all of a sudden... So they basically finna equate her powers to the blood. But they say after this ceremony, a week later, 1,800 plantations had been destroyed and 1,000 slaveholders killed. I want y'all to read that again. A week after this ceremony, this, was all part, this all took place during the Haitian Revolution. A week later, 1,800 plantations had been destroyed and 1,000 slaveholders killed. Now, what you better know is it was way more than that. You better know it was way more than that. You feel me? I don't want to go too deep into that. Um, I seen your comment, but I'm not finna go too deep into like going to the the spirits. You know, like that's I'm just leaving it on the surface. If they want to go deeper, they can click click it themselves. I'm not gonna be doing all the research for you. I'm pointing y'all the way I need to go to. You can dig further on your own. All right, because some of y'all be like comment and shit. Like I know that nigga, but I'm not finna branch off all the way into that. It's 2,500 motherfuckers on here. You know what I'm saying? So I can't just. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta. All the hot points that need to be hit gonna get hit to get the point across that we are magical beings, and and learn and know that this is why Haiti is under attack, and not just Haiti but your ass for having carbon in your skin for being a nine inch being. You get what I'm saying? So when I tell y'all I practice different forms of magic, I don't be lying, I don't be playing, I be serious. You know what I'm saying? When I told y'all about Kendall Jenner. And then I and, and, and my Cappy Pondexter video got deleted. Then all of a sudden I got the feeling weird. I had to go tap in with the ancestors and, and, and call on the warrior energies to give me forms of deeper spells and protection magic for what I was speaking on. Facts. So when people sit here and play and don't know, this is why they are able to be used against you all day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 real warfare that takes place, and you are a magical being more than you anything, and you are an ancient being. So all your thoughts and your words are vibratory that affects the entire vibration of the whole planet. You are connected to her. These or inorganic beings who are not from our planet are not connected to her. So they can do whatever to her. You, meanwhile, you can't because you connected to her. You they can go they can go litter all day, right? And that's a part of their nature. It wouldn't affect them. You being or, or, or organic being, you litter on the planet. It's gonna affect your frequency. 
The planet, like, why would you do that? Okay. It's going to drop your frequency. You see an animal, you see a lion that gets scared, you see a bear that gets scared, it's going to fuck up your frequency, your etheric body. You know what I'm saying? They do it, it's not. Because you are of this planet. You, you, this is your, this is your realm. You know, you created everything here. So you have to understand that. And they did in the Haitian revolution. That's why they were able to connect. And you got to know it was way more than 1800 plantations. Wikipedia ain't going to never tell you the really real. But a week later, that many, even if it was 1800, even if they is lying, that's a lot of fuck 1800 plantations, nigga. Do you know how big a one plantation used to be? Understand, man, what you come from. Understand what you are. Period. And hopefully they, they don't delete this video. I was going to get this video on my website only. And then the ancestors worked with me like, nah, get this publicly. I'm like, okay, well, what you want me to teach, teach him on the website? He gave me some other lessons he wanted me to teach on the website. All my, I'm on my website all this week, Wednesday, Thursday. No, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm on my website. Because I'm on the West Coast and I've been shooting a lot of videos while I've been on the West Coast too. And they're going to be going up on my website. So y'all go subscribe to my website www.theuci.online once again www.theuci.online y'all go ahead and sign up we going to the next level level anyway you see i, I got the mac i went and I had to get the mac and on my website because I, I got the ipad that's the ipad i normally use so people that's been watching me forever i never y'all know i've been always using ipads or the old computer so i finally want to upgrade a little bit so i can move a little quicker when i'm doing presentations on certain levels but um, definitely, I've been I've been shooting a lot of videos out here that y'all need to see. I was just at Garden of the Gods that a lot of our people don't know about. I went went there, touched on them. I'm finna get out here in nature again today, hit some spots. So y'all need to definitely like tap in on the website. Hopefully that they don't delete this video. You know what I'm saying? But what you gotta understand is it's I mean it's many of them. It was many of them. Like y'all can keep going through it. All right, y'all can keep going through it and understand right what we are and who we are. I mean, you can keep going. Look, look at all these names. They got a lot of names that they that they throw out there for you. That they just throw out there for you. That was voodoo priest, and they was fucking these people up in this Haitian revolution. That that we won. All our people fought. It wasn't just one, y'all. All our people fought together, y'all. Look at her, Marie D D Bazil, another one. Y'all gotta go research this, y'all. And you ain't gonna and what you wanna do when you go to Wikipedia, you just get a couple names. And then go meditate on them names, man. Go meditate on them names. You hear me? Cause they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna mislead. I'm clicking on names for y'all to go check out, but you know, like I say, be careful what you take in off Google and Wikipedia. Cause it's very limited, it's very censored, and it's very contaminated. But this was another one. She was a Dahomey warrior. See a Victoria. What no joke. She was a Dahomey warrior. See what I'm saying? Man, listen. Our people didn't play, man. Our goddesses used to get down, man. They weren't just the gods. You have not a clue. You feel me? You have not a clue. You hear me? Look at let's read a little bit about it in the early life. We know they lying, though. She is believed to be born in the kingdom of Dahomey in present-day Benin. Some sources indicate that she was a soldier. Okay? She, she ended up going to Haiti, they say, after being abducted and, and enslaved. Before the revolution, she worked alongside who? Dessalines as a slave on the estate of Henry Duclos. She was described as intelligent and energetic. Okay? Let's go into the revolution real quick. There she go right there. Notice most of these gods and goddesses, they don't really give you a lot about them. And the shit they giving you about them is very limited. Notice, look how look how short her these pages is, y'all, on, the, on these gods and goddesses. All the magical things they was doing. But look how short the paragraphs is about them. Because they don't want you to know. Look, they say during the Haitian Revolution, she doing, she, during the slave rebellion and the Civil War, she fought as a soldier, nigga, in active service. 
On at least one documented occasion, she commanded soldiers in action during battle. But it get way deeper than that. All right. During the revolt at the head of about 50 slaves was Toya with a fox in her hand and a hole in one shoulder and an indigo knife hanging from the belt of her camel suit. On Toya's command, one party sent to deforestation, another to plow, and another to harvest and put in large baskets of cereal. She had a strong voice. Her commands were identical to those of a general. A small number of rebels under the command of Toya was quickly surrounded and taken prisoner by the regiment. During the struggle, Toya runs away pursued by two soldiers. A clinch took place with and Toya. One of them was seriously injured by Toya and the other. Held by a few other soldiers who arrived in time, Toya became a prisoner. So look, they let you know they couldn't fuck with her. All right? They couldn't fuck with her. Now, they they, they going to word it differently, but this a God is fighting God, fight, fighting men. Keep in mind, she was fighting men. It took multiple men. These are multiple men she's fighting with. You hear me? These are multiple men, and she was fucking them boys up out there. You hear me? Emperor of Haiti. They don't even get deep. They don't even get deep like they need to. So look, let me tell y'all about Toya, right? She was a beast. They not even hitting it. Like, you know, like the Legend of Zelda? The Legend of Zelda, the video game, the Legend of Zelda is, they got that from her. And the Lord, like the Laura Croft story in Tomb Raider, how they show her scat, sc uh, uh, scaling caves and she flipping out of trees and all that. They that came from her. Like, like uh, man, listen, she had way more than fifty. She had she had so many people. The Amazon, listen. If you ever go read about the Amazonian warriors, them was our goddesses. Listen, our goddesses ain't never played. You hear me? Or the gods. I'm just trying to show y'all in the Haitian Revolution. And she, and she, she wasn't even fucking with, fucking the people up on the spells or none of that like that. She was fucking them clean up on the straight, just warrior hand to hand combat. You feel me? That's why they tell she was a soldier. Like they let you know, like nigga, she was fucked, nigga. Like yeah, she knew the spell, she knew that too. But fuck all that, she had her knife, nigga. She was in John Wick mode out there with them people, fucking them up out there. You feel me? I mean, we we fought as one, we fought together. So I just need y'all to know that though. You feel me? I wanted to. I wanted y'all to see that today. You know, I want y'all to just see it a little bit because we can't never rely on Wikipedia. We can't never rely on Google. But let's just let's touch on them a little bit so I can show y'all just a little bit, just a little bit of who you are. And we go deeper than that. Like I said, I got a lecture coming up on Simeon, Simeon Toko on my website. Another story where you're going to hear about us using magical, these magical abilities we naturally possess and tapping into these energies, opening up. Listen, remember who you are and what you are. And if you sat in here today and you don't agree with it, that's okay too. Because one thing about cosmic, infinite cosmic wisdom, I only came to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency of the planet. And as long as I put this esoteric truths out there of our true history as gods and goddesses on this planet, not as no fucking black people or no Latino people, as long as I'm doing that, I'm going to raise the frequency of the planet. It's up to you. It's up to you to decipher if I'm an agent, if I'm fake, if I'm somebody you can't trust, if I'm somebody you can't believe, that's up for you to decipher. And whatever you, and whatever conclusion you come to, I wish you the best with that conclusion. It's not going to alter the, my divinity or my mission. And I salute the divinity in you regardless. With that being said, understand what's going on in Haiti. Understand that they did send an attack our way, but we, 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 we send in more their way. That's just the back and forth of war. But also understand why. Understand why, understand how, understand that, you feel me? Understand that, understand why, understand how. That's what you need to understand and go tap into more about the Haitian revolution. You is going to help you understand more about voodoo, about who do and who you are. You get what I'm saying? And what you are. So you can see, I ain't never lied to y'all about shit, nigga. These niggas be lying. You know what I'm saying? These niggas be the niggas lying. These niggas don't show their face. These niggas got to get on the camera and look good. They be more concerned about how they look. You feel me? Like, listen, man. Even if you got to get on here, like, don't get me wrong. When I got on Hassan Campbell and Tasha K, I'm only attacking them because they attacked us as a whole fucking community. You know what I'm saying? Like, far as Brother Polite, if he did that shit, that's on his ass. He bogus as hell if he did that shit. That's on his ass. That's why I said it's between him and his dick. Meaning... That doesn't mean that we, as a community, if they want to call the awoken ones that, that don't mean that we are supporting anything that he did. I don't support, not an allegation, nigga. That don't mean we support it, but what that means is we are us. 
We are not him. So if he decided, if he happened to fall in frequency and sold himself out and started doing shit like abusing young girls and beating them and drugging them, then that's on his motherfucking soul. You can't apply that to every person that's either teaching or every person that's awoken. That's just a, 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 um, a, um, a mechanism to try to attack truth. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's that that's that's why I say it's a lot going on. It ain't just it ain't just that's why I made a video about that. Like it ain't it's a lot going on right now. We are in spiritual warfare. You feel me? We in spiritual warfare, so all is being revealed. Literally, nigga, like if your ass fake, if you lie, if your ass is a pedophile, if your ass is homosexual, if your ass is out here scamming, if your ass is out here robbing people, selling drugs, if your ass is out here extraterrestrial and you, and you is a clone, you is under MK Ultra, you is cheating on your baby daddy, you is cheating on your girlfriend, your ass out here sucking dick on the side, eating pussy on the low, it don't matter what you doing right now. We just went through the Lionsgate portal and we completely destroyed it going through it, absorbed all of his energies. So now as we continue to move in higher frequencies, is at the point where... Truth is going to roll out whether you want it to or not. And a lot of people are going to be swayed away and swayed left and right because we already know who the author of confusion is. Satan. Whenever you get confused, you see a lot of confusion, you know who's at work. Satan. He is the author of confusion. Period. Like I say, to other teachers and shit like that, whatever y'all teach, y'all teach, man. But y'all not helping our planet by attacking what I teach. It's too many lies that these white people have put out there to attack. That's a lot of them. So I'm going to use all my lectures to just completely attack them like I've been doing. And if I see like a house Negro get out there and do some super sellout shit like a celebrity, yeah, I got to attack they goofy ass. Definitely. But anybody that if you're, if you're just trying to come up and you teaching on YouTube, I'm not going to be attacking you, man. If I don't agree with what you teach, I just don't agree with what you teach. I don't agree with everything that, that Remedy H say or uh, the other people like the spiritual souls and Kali and every I don't agree with everything they say but at the end of the day I understand that just because I don't agree with it don't mean that it's still not it doesn't have merit in the cosmos that is not my place you see what I'm saying that is not my place my place is to do my job because it's a lot of things that, that other gods say that I don't agree with but there's a lot of things they say that I do agree, agree with and I'm just naming them two guys because I you know I, I personally fuck with them but I'm just pointing them, just throwing their names out there. So, like, anybody that's trying to teach on YouTube, like, if you're going to teach, just teach. Like, I didn't teach trying to build, like, thinking it was going to get to this point. We just on Facebook. Like I say, just building, putting the truth out there. As far as coming to the internet with it, I only had to come to the internet with it because that's what the ancestors needed me to do. So, I came to the internet when the internet needed me. Period. Other than that, other than that, to the other, like, the other little people that, like, um... That make the little videos and shit like I really don't even know if y'all really gonna ride. A lot of y'all just be making the videos and y'all gonna sit behind the camera. Y'all ain't gonna war on the battlefield. So if you ain't gonna war on the battlefield, stay out of my lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm really out here ten toes in the battlefield. I'm not just I'm not just on YouTube. I'm not just on YouTube, okay? I'm actually out here ready to slide. Sliding. Nigga. So if you ain't sliding, you know what I'm saying? You just making YouTube videos, keep making your YouTube videos in the dark, nigga. You feel me? And if you caught up on how many subscribers I got, like if you dissing me because I got more subscribers than you, then that clearly shows that you don't give a fuck about teaching. You caught up in subscribers, nigga. And I don't care about no subscribers, nigga, or no views, none of that. You feel me? Because if I cared about that, I probably would have been stopped teaching, nigga. Like it's people on here with millions of subscribers who I know don't talk about shit. That don't stop me from teaching, and I don't get on here and talk about their channels and none of that. You feel me? So I ain't gonna say your name, dog. But you know, you live your life. While you doing that, while y'all making videos dissing me, I'm dissing these people, and I'm out here in this nature. You feel me? I'm out here in nature. That's the real. So with that being said, peace to the guys and guys of the planet car. Y'all sign up on the website because we gotta get off the internet more and more. But peace to the guys and guys of the planet car. Now we rise. One.